Okay, I'm, I'm going to load into the game while we chat because uh, because the game has music if we load into the game. And otherwise, there's no music. And I feel weird if there's no music and nothing to listen to. <laughs> so I'm going to load into the game so I have something to listen to. Bye, Yuma. How's it going? How was Fallout? You lost dog meat multiple times. Oh, is dog meat your dog? Is that what's going on? But you managed to save him in the end? That's beautiful. I'm, I'm proud of you for saving dog meat. <laughs> oh, my sound's off. All right, there we go. We got some, some music. We got some music. But I'm proud, of, I'm proud of you for saving dog meat. I haven't been able to show up to streams as much as I've been wanting to recently, which has been very unfortunate. But uh, I'm proud of you for saving dog meat, whoever dog meat may be. But yeah, um, I'm doing a lot better today. I had like one hell of a weekend basically and i wasn't even doing very much i'm sounding different today my throat's a little fucked up <clears throat> my throat's like a little fucked up right now <laughs> liar voice. maybe this will make it easier for me to do the man voices like maybe it'll be easier for me to do the man voices today <laughs> because my throat's like a little a little fucked up right now but yeah um so, so Saturday, so Saturday, so I went to like the grocery store on Saturday and normally going to the grocery store is like fine and normal and it's just regular going to the grocery store. But I went to like the really crowded and like horrendously structured grocery store and it was like super duper crowded when I was there and like transportation had been stressful and so I was already stressed at the grocery store and I like, my brain was not having a good time. It was having, yeah, it was like a sensory overload at the grocery store, which is a bad time. It was, a, and so I was like, I was straight up like dissociating at the grocery store, which is like not a way to be, it's not a way to be. So like my weekend was mostly, I also had to go to a different grocery store also on Sunday, which was like also not great, but it wasn't that bad. But um, my brain was like very fucked up this weekend. And so I was super duper tired on Monday. And so I, and I've been like working really hard at work. I got my stuff done at work. Not like, it's not like done, but there's a thing that like really needed to happen. And I like had been working on it for like a long time. And I was like, I was working until like nine or 10 PM, like Monday and Tuesday night. I was like working so much, but I got it 
Like yesterday, I got this thing and it was like the biggest thing that I needed for like everything else I have left to do. And it's working, it's working. So, uh, so work is like, work is like, okay. But I've also been working really hard recently to get all this stuff done. And yeah, brain moments happen, but brain moment, brain was having a moment this weekend. Like, wait, the music is so quiet, one sec. All right, that's like improved. But yeah, brain was having a weekend. And then, so Saturday, after I come back from the fucked up grocery store and my brain's having a really bad time, I was like, I need to make my pickles for the week. Because I need to, I need to cook. I need to have my food. So I like, you know, chop up the cucumber, and then I'm going to like make the pickling stock sauce, which is like vinegar and sugar and water. And I use two different vinegars. I use uh, rice vinegar and white vinegar mixed together because it's fun. It makes it like taste good and it's nice. But I was super duper tired, and my brain was having an awful day. And when I went to grab the white vinegar which sits under the kitchen sink because it's usually for cleaning. Uh, but when I went to grab the white vinegar, I instead reached past the white vinegar and grabbed a different like plastic bottle with a pop top that was underneath the kitchen sink, which was the bleach. So I grabbed the bleach, not realizing I grabbed the bleach. And I pour the bleach into my saucepan and I pour my rice vinegar into my saucepan. And I'm sitting there just kind of staring at it, waiting for my water to heat up in the kettle so I could like pour it into the saucepan and make the rest of the stuff. And then at some point I like look next to me and I'm like, that's the bleach. Like that's not the vinegar, that's the bleach. And like I look at my stuff and it's like, yeah, it's like, I mean, it like mostly looks normal. It mostly smells normal. It mostly just smells like vinegar. Uh, but I was like, nope, there's definitely bleach in there. <laughs> so I dumped it out and like washed the thing and remade it using the vinegars instead of using bleach. But uh, yeah, so also it turns out, it turns out that when you mix bleach with vinegar, you get, uh, you get chlorine gas. Yeah, you get, you get deadly chlorine gas when you mix bleach with vinegar. So this is me, very tired, brain's already having a bad time, staring at my deadly, staring at my deadly gas, um, almost like about to drink the bleach if I just didn't like look over and notice that the bleach was sitting next to me. So it was, a, it's been a, it's been a, it's been a while. It's been a, like a wild time for my brain. Of bleach, the chlorine gas fucked up my voice. You know, maybe, maybe. It's a. Uh, I'm sure it'll. I'm sure it'll get better. But yeah. So I'm like basically fine. I was just like mega exhausted on Monday. I like came home and just like collapsed and was like, well, you know what I could do without needing too much energy? I can work. And so I just worked instead of resting. But I rested yesterday. I had a chance to rest yesterday because I finished my work. But whew, it's been a, it's been a, it's been a lot. It's been a lot and it's been a long time. So that's, uh, that's been my week. That's been my week. And that's, that's, uh, that's why I'm like all fucked up right now. But I'm doing a lot better. Really, I think my voice is kind of fucked up because like, I, uh, I've been making a lot of progress with my singing. I've been figuring some things out and I'm like almost at the point where I'm not making my voice tired when I sing. I'm like almost at the point where it's not straining and it's just fine, but it's like not quite there. There's still times when I do things wrong and it like strains still, but I was like excited that it was improving and getting better. And so I was like singing a lot. I was like singing the whole time I was working on Monday. I like did my regular singing practice and then I came home and like continued to sing while I was doing my work. So I think I just, uh, <laughs> I think I just kind of overdid it because I was excited that it was like becoming more functional and like working it. So I think that's what's going on with my voice right now. But yeah, it's a little, it's a little fucked up today. <laughs> I'm a little fucked up today, but it's okay. We're going to be drinking alcohol in this video game and so nothing matters. Everything is fine. But I hope, uh, I hope you guys had a good whoopsie. That's, why is it doing that? All right, one sec. Let's see if I can scroll up in chat without, without, okay, okay. 
Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, I hope, uh, dog meat? I hope dog meat had a good and beautiful time. And uh, what was the game again? I scrolled up to see the game and then I forgot Fallout. I've been wanting to play Fallout. And, um, I think I tried to play one of the older ones and, like, had a bad time. Like, I just didn't, I was having a lot of trouble with the mechanics. I think I had a gun and I had bullets and I couldn't figure out how to, like, load the bullets into my gun. Okay, Fallout New Vegas is a good first one. All right, I'll try that then. I think I have it, and I started with, like, Fallout 3 or something, maybe? And was mostly just, like, really confused at, like, how do I, how do I use the UI? <laughs> how do I, like, make the UI work? I also feel like games are more fun to play on stream. And when I'm, like, not streaming, I have a lot less fun with games. And so sometimes I'm like, oh, I don't really want to, like, play this game. Because it's, like, not that fun. But then if I played it on stream, I would have a lot of fun. But otherwise, it's like, but now I'm, I'm just alone. Now I'm just, I just don't, I just don't get to talk to anybody. And then it's, like, sad. It's like, I could do something where I get to talk to somebody. Instead of doing something where I don't talk to somebody. Yeah, Twitch streamer syndrome. Yeah, drinking alcohol and thought this was a drunk live stream. I'll we'll have one of those one day. One day we'll do one day we'll do the drunk live stream with this game. I do think it'd be fun. I just also I have a weak tummy. My tummy is not very strong, and I don't know if, how much alcohol it can really handle. But also, I can't handle very much alcohol, so, so it won't take very much to get me drunk. So it might be fine. Uh, but I think it would be fun. It's just right now, it's like, it's a Thursday and I have to go work tomorrow. And I worked all day today. Yeah, at least two, like, uh, the thing is, it's actually exactly two alcohols. I can have like two drinks worth of alcohol in a night. And if I have any more than that, I'm like fucked up the next day. <laughs> that also might be just from not drinking enough water. So... <laughs> In a variety of problems. But yeah, I have like one sizable cocktail or like two beers, and that's like it for me. <laughs> and I'm drunk. So uh, at least at least I'm a cheap drunk. I like it, you know? It's like fun to be a cheap drunk. But I mostly like drinking ciders instead of beers, and I don't think I can drink cider right now because um, it's all apple, and I can't have apples right now. So it's like, that's kind of sad. But I think I could drink sake. Game is a bit loud. All right. Sounds great. It's like super quiet for me. And so it's good to know. All right. It's turned down. Yeah, no. It's the weird tummy things. The weird tummy thing is that apple is like one of the fruits that's bad. Like all stone fruit are apparently a problem. So I can't have apples or like pears or plums or anything like that and like blackberries apparently also really bad so like there's other ciders that aren't apple cider but they're like peach and like blackberry and it's like i can't have those things either though so yeah yeah it's like that's life i can drink sake though i think because it's rice and rice is totally safe so of all the alcohols i think i can have sake the best so <laughs> Drink sake on stream maybe one day. For now, I'm just trying to survive. Like, my work thing is going to be pretty busy for the next, like, two months. So right now, I'm just trying to survive. <laughs> and maybe, maybe we'll see after that. Oh, but Laffy, my buddy, is debuting this Sunday. I don't remember the time, but he's debuting. So you guys should check out Laffy's debut coming up. All right, on that note, on that note, let's go to work. Play the game that we're here for. Good evening. Yeah, you saw the tweet earlier. Yeah, he's been working really hard on it. So I'm excited. He's like doing all his own rigging. So it's a lot of work. Good evening. Huh, I didn't expect you today. I was waiting for you to call and say you wouldn't be coming or something. Wait, but boss, we have to see boss every day. We love boss. She's our best friend. 
Things at the Apollo Bank are getting ugly, so that means more people will be looking for a drink. <sighs> you can take a break, you know? You're quite the hard worker. And the streets are not exactly safe right now. Oh, thank you for the follow, Hyacinth. Oh, hello, Hyacinth. Are you... You're like the other baby. Your sister, right? Right? Miru's child. You don't have to talk if you don't want to. Feel free to just look. But hello and welcome, welcome. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, new Miru baby. I was forgetting the word sister there for a while. And so I was like, baby? Child? <laughs> Baby. But also, sister, welcome, welcome, welcome to the family. Alright, the streets are not exactly safe right now. They've never been when you get down to it. We live in a cyberpunk future and everything is danger. And besides, I can't afford to not come with the bar closing soon. <gasps> I forgot about that! Wait, I forgot the bar was closing soon! You were the first person to see their model back when Miru was working on it? Oh, I didn't know. That's really, really cool. I always miss stuff like that. I feel like when Miru streams, it's always like a, they're a hard time for me. It's like, it's such a problem that like so many people stream when I'm like asleep or like doing other things. And I'm like, no, I just want to hang out. Oh, it's one of your favorite games. It's a really cool game. I'm really excited to be playing it. But hello, hello. But yeah, we're very we're very spread across the world, family. Because uh Moo is in um Yeah, Moo's in um 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 My brain's having a bad time. Australia! She's in Australia. And then Bunny is in the UK. And I think the others of us are US based. But so it's like, it's like the actual worst set of time zones. <laughs> Upside down, she's down south. Uh, but yeah, we're like, I think it's like the literal worst set of time zones. Like we're like eight hours off of each other in every way. And it's a, it's a problem. But okay, the bar is closing soon. I actually totally forgot about that. That's really sad. It's so cool. Yeah, it's a bad time. Time zones are the worst. <laughs> I wonder if any bar has used impending closure as a means of getting their employees to work. <laughs> Forgetting plot is a big mood. It's it's a big mood for everything here. I will say, if you're new, I am incredibly forgetful about everything all the time. So <laughs> and I absolutely rely on chat to help me remember things. So yeah, forgetting the plot, a big mood. Yeah, in Elden Ring last time, I was calling Melina. Her name is Melina, but I was like, our girl, our the maiden. Yeah, our lady. <laughs> I was like, do I remember her name? <laughs> Probably not. So yeah, I forget I forget things all the time. But thank you for putting up with me being a dumbass and forgetting stuff a lot. It's very helpful. <laughs> forgetful no you're right you're right i have to tell them i have i have a perfect memory for everything they've ever done i'm a i'm, I'm super evil hacker lyra and i will remember everything you've done <laughs> uh, don't ask about it. i've been running recently i've been running in elden ring recently i've been remembering to run it's been happening so it's a that's a i'm jumping is still jumping during fights like jump to dodge Still not really happening, but I've been running now. It's an improvement. <laughs> I'm learning game mechanics. <laughs> All right, Dana is getting us to work harder because the bar is closing. I feel like that wouldn't work at a regular bar. Like it just works for us because we just want to see Dana and hang out with her. But I feel like in a regular bar, you'd be like, bar's closing and people would just be like, I'm out, peace, bye. <clears throat> Seems like the total opposite would happen. <laughs> At least one foot must be firmly planted on the ground at all times, or it's not gaming. <laughs> Running an Elden Ring. Okay, but I've actually, I've actually been doing okay on the actual boss fights. Like, like, Godric didn't take that long. Godric took like 20 minutes, like 15 tries. 
So like, like the actual boss fights are going okay. It's just the parts outside of the boss fights that are kind of a problem. Okay, okay, Data agrees with us. Seems like the total opposite would happen. Not to mention, I get bored out of my brains in my apartment, so I'd rather come here anyway. But she doesn't even have anything to do. She has like a TV and like a little plant. And like, that's all she's got. We can't even afford new walls. <clears throat> what did you say? Nothing important. <laughs> Gil isn't back yet. Nope, I wouldn't worry too much about him though. If you say so. Yeah, Gil just like noped out. Like the end of the last one, they were like, the bunny is late. And Gil was like, oh, I gotta go. That's like literally my wake word. I gotta go. And we don't know where he's gone. He was like, I'm out. If you don't see me in like a week, I'm probably dead. And that was just it. So we don't know what's going on with Gil. He has a dark past. But you're right, she has a cat. She could just pet her cat all day. I want to pet a cat, you know? I don't have any cats. And like, sometimes, sometimes I just get like a, I just want to pet a cat, you know? They're just cute and soft and fluffy. And I love them. Okay. We can, we can pet Cat vicariously through Jill. A quick sum of what happened during the last stream. So. Okay. I was going to say that I'm going to remember things when they occur. Like, when I'm reminded, I'll remember them. But I do think I actually sort of remember. Basically, there was a, there's Alice Rabbit, who's a terrorist. Well, she's a hacker. She's a hacker doing things. And people do like terrorist stuff in her name sometimes. And there was an attack on the bank. There was like a guy in the bank who was like gonna take hostages in the bank. And then they were like, oh, we wanna get people out of the bank. But some hacker online triggered their like system to say like oh someone's hacking we have to like lock down all the doors to the bank and so now all the hostages are trapped in the bank with the hostage taker dude um right before this happened someone walked in and was like the bunny is late and then Gil like left and did something and then like the bank shut down and all this happened so we don't really know how Gil is involved in this um but he's involved there's also <laughs> Eeper Agent. He's the eepiest agent of them all. Um, but again, also. Oh, so Say, who is one of the cops who's been here before and she's just kind of a sweetheart, was in the bank when it shut down. So she's there and we don't know what's going on with that, but we do know that she's there. It was like a weird setup for her to get there. Yeah, okay. Gil really is international man of mystery. I think he'll be back. He's cool. He'll be back, you know? He's uh, he's too cool to die like this. Yeah, okay, speaking of cats, do I know the side story the writer made? I don't. What is it? What's that about? I do. I do love cat stories. Cat stories are really fun games about cats. I gotta play more cat video games. They're just fun and cute things. <laughs> the AU side story? There's an AU? Like, is it actually like an alternative universe AU? That's so cute. Stray when? Whenever I'm done with all of the other games there are to play, there's too many games. It's a problem. <laughs> Alright. Sapphic Pussy Rhapsody? Oh my god, that's incredible. That's the best name I've ever heard for anything. <laughs> that's so beautiful. Okay, so kind of similar to Sapphic Pussy Rhapsody. There was um someone I knew joined for like a random single session of a D&D game I was in and their character that they made just like first time playing D&D for D &D, first like random thing their character was Yannick Supersonic which if you don't know Yannick it is the female alternative to phallic <laughs> it was just 
<laughs> so it's like, this is the greatest thing I've ever heard. So like Yonic Supersonic has just been like stuck in my head just forever now. But okay, I'll have to check out Sapphic Pussy Rhapsody because that's just, that's incredible. But yeah, maybe stray one of these days. There's just too many games to play. It's sad. There's too many good games in the world. I'm also incapable of frowning. I'm trying to make the model frown. This is a, this is like this isn't even this isn't even the model thing. This is just my face. I just can't frown. It's like impossible. I don't know how people do it. <laughs> Wait, what? What's FFSX? <laughs> what's that? Oh, hello, Pranjal. How's it going? Hello, hello. <laughs> Oh, Final Fantasy Sonic X? Is that, is that like a Final Fantasy Sonic crossover? That sounds incredible. I want to believe that it's a Final Fantasy Sonic crossover. I want to believe that it's just Sonic in the Final Fantasy world because that would be beautiful. It's so much more <gasps> incredible. That's so beautiful. It's like the, like I'm aware of Sonic through like Sonic 06, right? Like, that's the one where he, like, date, dates, like, a human woman. Oh, also has Sonic and Mega Man and some OCs. That's so beautiful. Yes, hello. They're games? That's, oh, that's very cool. I'll check those out. Yes, hello, Pranja. I am doing significantly better. I got a bunch of sleep. I did not drink, or I did not drink the bleach. I did not drink the bleach that I accidentally put into my food on Saturday uh, um, and I'm doing okay I like worked a bunch Monday Tuesday but I got a big work thing that I needed done yesterday and so I had a chance to actually like take a break yesterday and so like things are I'm doing better flash games with hola stories there's some really well-made ones that's so cute I like grew up on online flash games because I didn't have like video game consoles when I was a kid. Yeah, back in the Newgrounds days. Yeah, I have a lot of nostalgia for those days. I don't think I've played these games specifically. I was mostly playing like Bloons and like Room Escape games, but I have like a ton of nostalgia for that. <laughs> I fully like grew up on armor games and Club Penguin. I grew up on Club Penguin. Yeah, Bloons, Bloons is still good. Like the Bloons tower defense, still really good. Like it, it's not dead, it's still there. <laughs> but yeah, it's been really nice to actually get the work stuff done. This has been like the biggest blocker for everything I need to do for like the future of like, like all the stuff, all the stuff I need to do. This thing that I got done Wednesday has been like the biggest stress point. And it's done. And I still have a lot of work that I need to do in the next couple of months, but it's done. Oh wait, what's bone? Sometimes chat is like delayed enough that I've forgotten whatever I said that triggered chat's messages by the time it shows up. It's like, that was five seconds ago and my memory doesn't last for five seconds. And so it's gone and I don't know what that's a response to. Oh, like bone is in balloons? And balloons is uh it's balloons but they're balloons but yeah sometimes i see things and i'm like <laughs> boys for reset memory except i'm not even taking damage i'm just constantly taking like psychic damage to my poise bar that <laughs> just constantly makes it reset sometimes i'm in a meeting and someone will say something and in the process of me trying to write down the thing they'll they said i like forget it and it's like it's I'm literally writing it down. Nothing else has even happened. It's been three seconds. How could I possibly forget? It's been three seconds. <laughs> but uh, it's like they're not even saying other things. Like I'm not trying to listen and write at the same time. I'm just trying to write and that's enough to make me forget. <laughs> uh, I'm amazed how functional I am sometimes. I used to do that all the time with taking notes in undergrad. It's a problem. 
But yeah, I'm really amazed at how much work I actually managed to get done, given that my brain is like an absolute sieve sometimes. It's just like, <laughs> how do I get the rest of the stuff done? I don't even understand how it works. <laughs> uh, but it's working. It's working, and that's what matters. <laughs> Functionality is overrated. You only need style. Hell yeah, baby. It's all about the vibe. Oh, constantly, 100%, the vibe. I've also been playing lo-fi. Something something monkey Shakespeare. Yeah, yeah, I'm the I'm the monkey. I'm the monkey. Except it's the mouse this time. Mouse Shakespeare. <laughs> but yeah, I've been playing lo-fi in my workroom recently because sometimes I'm the only person in there and it's sad. So I play lo-fi. But other people have been liking the lo-fi too. And so now I just keep it on whenever I'm in the room. And uh, I've gotten a lot of compliments. Everyone's like, ooh, what's this lo-fi channel that you're listening to? What is this? We want to hear more of the lo-fi. So, like, that's kind of fun. It's like, we got a nice vibe, you know, today in the room. So it's chill. <laughs> dance, dance party to lo-fi hip-hop in the office. That's, uh, that's the one. Just, just, just low-speed dancing. All right, okay, I do need to actually play the game. Like, I want to actually play the game. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna bad at the game. It's fun to chat, but it's hard to like chat and play the game at the same time. Cause I like read one line and then I have to like go back and then I read and then I like, I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> and it's like, I do also want to play the game. Hana, hello, hello, we're playing Valhalla and I'm getting very distracted and just chatting with people about random things instead. But we're actually gonna play the game, but hello, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. <clears throat> if you... <laughs> you sure we could chat now? I wanna, I do wanna actually play the game. It's a really cool game and I do wanna actually play it. <laughs> Chatting is a lot of fun though. And it's been a while. I feel like Minecraft is usually the time where we actually get to chat. And then I was like too tired on Monday. And so there wasn't actually a chance to chat. And that was sad. <laughs> to mix lives and save drinks. I mean, that's basically what I've been doing this weekend. I did save the drink by throwing out the bleach. So <laughs> it was okay. <laughs> mix, mix time and drink saves. Hell yeah. I don't know how to drink the saves, but we're going to find out. We're going to figure it out. All right, distracted tactic from 308. All right, what is this? I'm going to try to not play all of it because YouTube is going to get upset with me on the bod. It's going to be like, there is things on the bod. <laughs> oh no, he's getting, he's getting, he's getting. Okay, okay. I mean, that's very cool. That is very cool. <laughs> yeah. No more bleach. The only bleach we have is anime now. Only, only bleach allowed is is Ichigo Kudotaki, Mr. Bleach Man. I kind of love him because like one of the girls in it just says like Kudosaki kun, and that's like her main line. Like she says that like so much, and I actually just think it's really funny <laughs> that like most of her lines are like Kudosaki kun, and she is like pretty cool. Like she has a really powerful power, but she spends a lot of her time just like Kudosaki kun. It's like how many takes did that did they have to like do that in the in the recording booth of like oh you have to say it again but differently this time like you said it that way before so say it this way this time <laughs> like that's really funny <laughs> uh, me playing minecraft chatting running from monsters and jumping off cliffs like a lemming isn't that just regular life though like are you not just jumping off cliffs like a lemming in regular life every day isn't that just normal normal and regular time i mean i feel like i'm running from like running from the terrible monsters in real life you know like i'm always i'm always running from from the monsters in real life and sometimes the monsters are deadlines and that's a bad time <laughs> yeah, I also totally grew up on Naruto. I never finished, but I I was I was big into Naruto back in the day. <laughs> okay, this is more distraction. I'm sorry. All right.
Goodbye, goodbye. Okay, I also don't super know how to say your name. I'm, I, I'm gonna do my best. Are you Lingui? Oh, you can let me know if that's wrong and how to say it. But okay, thanks for thanks for stopping by and have a fun time. Oh, Linguini, Lingui. Oh, oh, Linguini. Oh, oh, that's really cute. I like it a lot. Oh, well, thanks for stopping by, Linguini. Uh, have a have a good time. That's really cute. <laughs> yeah, it's ni san yong go. I do know my numbers, at least. <laughs> all right, all right. But yeah, Hinata is also... Sakura was like the one. She does get to do things eventually. But yeah. Oh yeah, it's Miku day. You're right. It's Miku. It's 3-9. There's been a lot of good art of Miku today. Puppy, 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 puppy. I actually don't super know that one. I do love Miku though. Yeah, Sakura gets to do stuff like... Eventually. But yeah, it's a it's a beautiful Miku day. There's been a lot of good Miku art, and like every art of Miku is a beautiful art of Miku. And so it's like it's been a good day with lots of lovely Miku art. But yeah, okay, I like <laughs> I feel like there's like people love Sasuke, you know, and like Naruto, like people are like, ooh, it's like a oh, Sasuke. But like I really liked Gara back in the day. <laughs> And then he's like cool and like kind of evil, you know? And then they're like, what if we make him a fucking nerd? What if we like take his hair that's like cool? And what if we like cut his hair and make it lame? And what if we make him just like a sad, you know, a sad little boy? Like he used to be like an emo boy and now he's just kind of like lame. He's like a dad now. And I was like, why? <laughs> he was my cool emo boy. I wanted the emo boy. <laughs> emo boy to nerd pipeline is real. I guess I, I guess I can't knock him too hard for emo boy to nerd pipeline. I guess like that's also me. So I can't knock him too hard for it. <laughs> but at the time I was like, no, my precious little boy. He's gone. He's, he's dead. I'll never see him again. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm just Gara from Naruto. That's, uh, that's me. That's totally me. I'm totally cool guy from Naruto. <laughs> okay, I said like five minutes ago that I was gonna actually play the game. So I'm gonna actually play the game. <laughs> Alright, we're saying, we're talking about something. There's a way to get the log and I don't remember what it is. So, we're just gonna go with this. <laughs> Alright, if you say so. That girl's still here? Oh, wait. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's a girl who... Her, she's streamer time. Mm -hmm. Oh, tap. Tap, 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 tap. Ah, oh, yes. It's about Gil's not back yet, so we're not worrying. But yes, yeah, streaming time is, is here. She's a girl who streams her life 24-7. Uh, and she apparently hadn't slept for a literal month. That she thinks is a week, but it's a month. But she fell asleep here after having a couple of drinks. And I think she's like still here. But she's still streaming. And so it's like kind of weird because our whole conversations are being streamed to like 6,000 people. Which I guess this whole conversation is also being streamed to people. But like the in-game conversations don't know that they're being streamed, you know? But they are. They're... That's a, that's that seems kind of complicated, you know. They're both we're both being streamed in the game, and they're being streamed in real life. But they don't even know they're being streamed in real life because they're part of the game, and they don't even know. Incredible. I'm just gonna not worry about that. <laughs> yeah, she hasn't slept in like a long ass time. I don't know how she's doing it. It's a cyberpunk future, so like probably drugs, you know. <laughs> literally <laughs> I at least my sleep's been like way better recently I've been taking my melatonin my little baby little nibble of melatonin every night and I've been sleeping like really well and it's actually been going great yeah philosophy's hard and that's why I don't do it I'm an engineer <laughs> we are in the matrix we're always in the matrix I'm literally virtual so we are in the matrix at all times <laughs> 
Alright, she was sleeping so peacefully, I felt bad about waking her up. So, would you mind doing that for me? <laughs> Boss! Boss is too sweet, she can't even wake people up. <laughs> Three flicks of melatonin gummy. Basically, basically, I take like a little tiny little nibble. It takes me like two or three weeks to get through one gummy. <laughs> it's silly. Eight hours sleep? Probably like seven. But like, that's pretty good. <laughs> Literally Neo. I take pills from strangers in contestant locations. That's streaming Chan right here. Literally streaming Chan. You know, maybe streaming Chan will wake up and actually just like come out of the PC. Should just be like, I am Neo awakened from the Matrix and just come out and and... and like ring girl style, like that's what's in my head. She like ring girl styles, like come out of the PC. It's gonna happen, you watch. That's my that's my prediction for this game. My prediction, that's what's gonna happen in this game. <laughs> that's the future that we expect to see. Okay, boss is a boss is a pushover and can't wake up the girl for us, so we have to do all the hard work around here for boss. But it seems like it seems like maybe boss needs us. You know, what would Boss do without us? If she didn't have us here, we wouldn't. she wouldn't have anyone to wake up the girl. You like us, right, Boss? <laughs> Boss, you love us, right? <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> yes, I might. But you're the boss, and it's kind of my fault she's here in the first place. Sorry about that. Hey, young lady, sleep another hour, and we'll have to start charging you a motel fee. I feel like she's probably rich. I feel like she could do that. <laughs> help? Can help, senpai? Please, senpai, notice me. Senpai, please. <laughs> I'm a good, I'm a good kohai. Alright, streaming chan. <laughs> Where am I? Oh, right. <laughs> the shoddy downtown bar. Let's see. All my gear is in place. And neither my pants nor my panty shirt or bra have been misplaced. Oh, it's the flat bartender. Good morning. Good evening. Evening? Oh well, it's the best night uh day of sleep I've had in quite some time. It's my streamer voice? This is of course my streamer voice. This is what all streamers sound like, right? They <laughs> they talk like this. Which is uh it's funny to me that I'm like, oh, this is a streamer. She's a streaming John. This is how she talks. Even though it's like, that's not how I talk when I stream, you know? I don't do that at all. <laughs> but this is streaming John, and she's not me. <laughs> the Watch Mojo voice? Absolutely. Why is everyone asking, how do I Denko? What is Denko? Do you guys know what that is? <laughs> is that a thing I should know what that is? <laughs> Sometimes I like don't know what things are and then when I figure out what they are it's like a thing that I should maybe have known but I don't know what this one is. <laughs> the floating comments, it's very uh, Nico Nico. Very Nico Nico style. Yeah, it's very charming. It's such a such an adorable game. I love all the all the like characters and the art like everyone's so cute everyone in this game is like so adorable in like a bunch of different ways even like the old guys even like the old guys are like oh you're just so cute and i love you all right stream and chan sorry for all the trouble i may have caused you today or last night D don't worry you're so nice flat bartender she could stop calling us flat, you know? Like, she could just call us bartender. She doesn't have to, like, rub it in. Thanks for taking care of me. Bye! Hello, guys and gals. Streaming Chan's back in action with her batteries reloaded. Ah, the moon? It burns? I feel like I've just unleashed something terrible onto the world. Why does the moon burn? Why does the... Is she like a reverse vampire? Is that a thing? Where the moon makes you burn? Is there so much pollution in the cyberpunk future that the moon burns? I'm scared for her. I'm scared for her future. 
<laughs> Come on, it's not that bad. Say, what's this bottle? A client gave it to me yesterday. A gift of sorts, I'm guessing. Oh, cool. It's some sort of rum? Rum? Nice. Want me to serve you a bit of it? <laughs> yeah, streamer is unsupervised. Streamer set free upon the world. Streamer has been unleashed upon the entire world, and it's a terrible, terrible day. <laughs> Stream. <laughs> what is? I can't remember. There's like a meme that's like streamer event. Three injured, forty-two dead. You know. Except my brain's bad, and so I can't, can't remember the actual meme format. Imagine I did that meme right. Imagine I remembered the meme. <laughs> but I think in the cyberpunk future, rum is like an old, uh, is like a vintage thing, you know? Like, they don't have rum anymore. We have aldehyde and bronson extract, but we don't have rum, so it's like fancy and old. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, sure. Let's give Boss some rum. Go to the bottle drinks tab and drag it to the shaker before mixing. Okay, bottle drinks. Rum. And then we mix. And it's rum. Why did we mix the rum? Like, why can't we just have it be rum? But you're right, we get to sip Boss a drink and it's fancy, fancy special rum. Grandpa Booze Rum. All right, we get to drink with Boss, our precious darling Boss. Here. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna enjoy this in my office. Thanks. <gasps> no, Boss, no. Wait, she's not gonna drink with us. We made this special drink for her and she won't even drink it with us. She's leaving us alone. Boss, please. She'd rather be alone than with us. <laughs> but she's so cute. Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> the cope from Jill. Okay then. You're gonna leave me like that. I guess it's time to set up the jukebox. Should we change the music? I feel like the music was pretty good. I don't actually remember most of them, honestly. I feel like I remember the ones in the front were ones that we liked. Yeah, let's just go. It's time to serve, mix, and change lives. Hell yeah, baby. Serve, mix, change lives. Wait, that's exactly how it goes. <laughs> no one here to retort, only me. Man, it feels lonely without Gil here. I just hope the restlessness in the streets doesn't lead to dangerous or weird types coming in here. I feel like everyone who's coming here has been, <laughs> by some definition, dangerous or weird. And so I feel like that's kind of a, you know, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen and we're gonna be okay with it. It's gonna be beautiful. <gasps> oh, wait, they're so cute. I don't know who they are, but I love them. They're so cute. We were a little brain in a jar. Oh my god. It's a, it's a little guy. It's a fucking nerd. You're so right. It's a fucking nerd. He's so cute. That's a good question. How do we get them drunk? Also, I feel like they probably get drunk really fast. I feel like if we pour alcohol into the brain in the jar, it's gonna get drunk really quickly. Hmm. Hello, mister. <laughs> it is a nerd. Good evening. Holy shit, that was a record breaking jinx. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? I'll have a blue fairy. Don't don't make a joke about becoming real. Don't make a joke about becoming real. On it. Go <laughs> had one of those inside of him. <laughs> He's dead now. Can you imagine? I think. I think there might be one of these really close to you right now. It's real. It's here. It could be. You better watch out. It's gonna come for you. <laughs> be 
careful. It's, it's closer. It's closer than you may think. All right, we're giving it a blue fairy. It's what it wants. It wants a blue fairy. Optional karma train. Get the brain drunk. Aged and mixed. <laughs> Get the brain maximum drunk. <laughs> oh, it is a Yuma. You're right. Yuma, Yuma, Yuma. <laughs> See, it was a fairy you saw flying around the other day. It's uh, everything's fine. Everything's okay. Electrib, hello, hello, welcome, 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 welcome. We're serving a brain right now. A literal brain. Here you go. I have no idea how it's gonna drink this. Nice. Yeah, this is the thing. I don't know what kind of voice to use for this brain. We're gonna just figure it out. So, um, how are you gonna... Oh, you can grab stuff. I should have figured as much. You can drink stuff? Indeed, I have the same system as Lilim do. It's a robot? It's a... What? I'm confused. Where are the arms? Where are your arms, sir? Sir? Where are your arms? Can't stay, unfortunately. Well, thanks for popping by and saying hello. Thank you, thank you. Good to see you. Yeah, I guess he's slurp. He's slurping his nom noms. I don't know how he's doing it. I don't see any arms. <laughs> Sir, I need you to display your arms. If you have the right to bear arms, I need you to do display your arms. <laughs> All right. Can I ask you something, um, uh, Miss... Call me Taylor, just Taylor. Mr. Yeah, bear arms for, for the, the big fuzzy hugs, you know? <laughs> and yes, a cutie like you can ask me anything. I think the nerds got riz, guys. Guys, I think the nerds got riz. Also, I feel weird, weird saying that word. It's like I'm a, I'm a TikToker now. I'm a kid. I'm, I'm hip with the kids. I say the word riz, you know? <laughs> Okay, Taylor, a cutie like you can ask me anything. <laughs> the Rizzler, he's a 10, but he's all brains. He really is. I mean, he's kind of got looks, you know? Like, he's kind of cute. I wouldn't turn him down. <laughs> okay, Taylor. You have to be the first person I've met that didn't go, okay, just Taylor. <laughs> Nah, too easy. You are a brain in a jar, right? I'm sure I'm not a hologram of that, I'm sure. Yep, I'm a bonafide human brain in a jar. So, h how? Why? What? Does my handsomeness make you speechless? I think it's flirting with us. I think they're flirting with us. You know? The brain in a jar is flirting with us. You're not something a girl sees every day. That's saying quite a bit in these parts. Fear not, for I have a speech prepared for these situations. A speech? You're seeing one of the five great living bottled brains of the world. We are brains living in conditions that allow us to exist as any other humanoid creature. All while computers in our jars scan our activities. In a slow but steady manner, we are helping the world understand the inner workings of nature's most complicated computer. I'm guessing you prepared that after being asked the same question too many times, huh? Not out of exasperation or anything like that, mind you. I just wanted to have something thoughtful prepared. Look, I even have a couple pamphlets with me. You want one? I would love a pamphlet. I want to learn more about brands and jars. I think it's funny. Sure. What brings one of our world's five brains and jars to this place, though? How do they know that there's five? What if there's more than five? There could be, you know, what if they make another one right now? Then there would be six. And they'd be telling a lie. And that would be rude. Bah, he's the Rizzler. You're right. They're the Rizzler. 
we're just gonna I'm just gonna use whatever pronouns feel right at the time. It's just gonna change. It's just gonna be any pronouns. They, they don't seem to care. I don't think they have a problem. <laughs> You're a bit of a brain in a jar myself. I am a brain in a sad and fleshy human being most of the time. <laughs> I wish I were as a uh, as sturdy as a jar, and yet most of the time I am not. <laughs> most of the time, you know, sometimes I'm, sometimes I'm. There's not even a brain. Like sometimes I'm a sad and fleshy human being without even a brain at all. <laughs> all right, hello, Mr. Five Jar, Brain Jar. <laughs> Sometimes I'm detached from reality altogether, like in the grocery store, when my brain decides, you know, what's a bad place to be? The crowded grocery store, and it just goes somewhere else, entirely different. It's not the grocery store. <laughs> All right, Taylor. <laughs> oh, I'm from around here, actually. I just wanted to take a walk for the first time in quite a bit of time. Have you come here before? Sadly, no. Otherwise, I'd remember a cute face like yours. They really are flirting with us. Oh my gosh, we just got called flat earlier today, but then they left immediately. This is like a great start for the day. This is like a great start, you know? Usually people walk in and they're like, wow, this place is a shithole. But Taylor is like being cute. I'll take it. Speaking of which, can I have your name? Um, it's Jill. Jill, that's a really cute name. I'm kind of blushing. This is cute. This is so cute. Thank you. Say, weren't you scared of going outside today with all the commotion around and all? <laughs> I'm very motivated by praise. <laughs> it didn't stop you from coming here either, did it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's gonna take more than cryptic but ominous news to stop me. Or awfully energetic. Did you know that? Sorry, does that bother you? No, not at all. Just that I figured a brain in a jar wouldn't be so happy. While I was alive, my body got to a point where there wasn't much I could do. Oh yeah, this music is really cool. We gotta see what it is. Jukebox, turn it on. Showtime! Nice! It's showtime! Alright. This new state of existence allows me to accomplish more than I ever could before. Plus, I'm doing something that'll help people in the long run. Wouldn't you be happy? Damn, Taylor's really got it figured out. Like, Taylor, like, knows what they're doing. And they know what they're there for in life. And I love them. They're so, so cute. Yeah, the soundtrack of this game is really cool. I was hoping to like pick a song to actually use as my like BGM. I just haven't, um, I haven't done that yet. I did look up and the composer for the game is totally cool with people using it as BGM. So I did check that. But, uh, but yeah, I just haven't, I'm not good enough at remembering the songs when they show up, but I wanna pick one that's like a nice, uh, good intro song. How does the brain travel? I don't know. Apparently it has arms. Apparently it has legs. But we can't see that from here, so I don't know. It just, uh... It's just, uh... What's the thing where you move things with your brain? To... Psychokinesis? Psychokinesis. They serve the mind waves. <laughs> Very cute the brain we use using yeah telekinesis it's a uh, using your brain to move stuff around it's telekinesis they're doing it <laughs> thank you for helping me with words words are my main weakness it's gonna get worse because i'm gonna have to be writing a lot at work so it's gonna like get worse <laughs> all right taylor's got their shit figured out <laughs> i wonder do you Want to make me happy, Jill? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, whoops, that was the wrong button. It's a... Uh, <laughs> Taylor. Taylor. What are, what are you talking about, Taylor? <laughs> so my 
Minecraft me yelling incoherently. That's just regular Minecraft. That's just normal. <laughs> I'm dressing already. <laughs> We're ready. We're here. We've decided it's time. <laughs> they say, you want to make me happy? We say, right now. <laughs> it's time. Right now. <laughs> but, uh, Taylor. Taylor, what are you suggesting? Depends on what it takes. Mm, don't worry. Just give me a beer. Hey, Taylor. Hey, Taylor, I was I was prepared. I was already prepared, Taylor. <laughs> Taylor, I, the jacket was off. Taylor, the jacket was gone. We were ready. <laughs> you're just gonna ask me for a beer after all that? After all that you said to me, you're just gonna ask me for a beer now? Taylor, please. Taylor, I thought we had more than this. All right, we'll make him a beer. <laughs> One beer. Yeah, it's like a, it's a pretty basic drink. It's, um... It's, uh, I appreciate that it's like, I don't know, it's like, it's like surprisingly basic drink for like... This size, the guy's like a brain. You know, he's a whole ass brain. <laughs> the brain will ask you to come to his home and learn Rust. I don't teach people Rust. Rust is fun. I love Rust. <laughs> negative Riz. That's us. Jill's the negative Riz. Alright, mix. Alright, I did it. I didn't think that was going to work out, actually. <laughs> Taylor's just simple-minded. That's, uh, you know, what you see is what you get with Taylor. <laughs> That's all they got. Here, a beer. Ah, uh, yes. No matter what happens, beer's always good. It's interesting, though. Just yesterday, I was talking to a client about brain uploads. You were? Yeah, we were talking about how even if you upload your brain, you'd still be here. I've thought about that, too. Do you think the you in the cybernetic environment would feel like she was indeed transferred? Like, would she remember everything? Like, waking up someplace else and so on? Hmm, that's an interesting question. I was actually thinking earlier about being able to transfer someone's brain into a Lilin. One of the brains is being used in such an experiment, actually. They can make a functional Lilin. Unfortunately, the wiring and other stuff such makes it look more creepy than anything. They weren't transferring his identity or anything, though. Just wiring him to a body. I mean, that's pretty intense. That's very cyberpunk, you know? Just just a floating brain in a jar on a, on a robot. That's pretty cool. Oh. You'd think someone would rather do that than float around exposed in a jar. I have to admit the whole brain thing does look creepy. But the body I'm telling you about is just uncanny looking. Uncanny Valley. Speaking of uncanny, how did you feel when you first saw yourself like this for the first time? It was quite a shock, actually. It didn't last too long, though. I was never too attached to my body. Hell yeah, baby. Later in my life, that was almost literal. You know what the downside to this body is? I can't get drunk. Why are you here, bro? Bro, why are you here if you can't get drunk? What are you getting from this? What are you getting from this interaction? <laughs> you want to call that a downside? If you wanted to drink alcohol for the taste, there are many alternatives. Drunkenness is part of the whole experience. Why though? Lilith can get drunk with no problem. Yeah, but in their case, their brain's a computer attached to their body. Getting drunk causes their brains to reduce the input speed to their bodies. Depending on the model, their drunk subroutine might throw in a different behavioral cycle even. It's hard to get drunk when the whole point of you being in a jar is figuring out exactly how you were. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. It's interesting that it's like, this is like the weird, cool cyberpunk future, and yet we still don't know how brains work, you know? Like, we got the rest of it. We got the dystopia. We got the, um, corporate overreach. We got the acid rain. 
We don't got brains. We don't got brains figured out. Don't know how that one goes. Hey, Jill. Who's this? Oh, Alma. Just, oh, Alma, where's the courtesy one would expect from plebeian bar staff? Welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? Customer service voice. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? Happy? <laughs> Not when you put it that way. She's kind of, this is also our other hacker buddy. She's very cute. Well, hello there, beautiful. Taylor! Taylor, you've been flirting with me this whole time, and you're just going to start flirting with Alma as soon as she's here? Taylor, I thought I was your type. Taylor, please. Mm. Mm. Oh, whoa. You hurt my feelings with that, darling. This is sorry. You don't see talking disembodied brains every day. I mean, I did work a summer in Lilith Maintenance, but even then, those were talking heads. Oh, don't worry about it. At least you're not running or fainting. Oh, Taylor's had a hard life. I mean, Taylor did start out flirting. I do feel like... I do feel like if someone, like, flirts with you and you look and it's just a brain. Like, you're like, oh, someone's flirting with me. That's kind of cute. And you look over and you're like, oh, that's a fucking brain. That's, like, just a brain. You'd be like... You know, like, maybe just being like, Hi, nice to meet you, my name is Taylor, would be, like, a better introduction than, like, Hey, beautiful, you know? Like, I feel like you might get less of the, Oh, Jesus, fuck, response if you were, like, introduced yourself in a normal way. But alright, Taylor. You go, you do you. You go, you go, Taylor. Your name is Alma, right? I'm Taylor. There you go. Nice to meet you, Taylor. Say, Alma, can I buy you a drink? Sorry, I only date people who are at least 50% organic and have at least one face. Alright, bye bye, Pranjal. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye bye. Thanks for showing up. Mm -hmm. I know just what to strive for then. Just kidding. It'd make me happy to make you happy by buying you a drink. Does that bother you? I guess if Jill's the bartender, I don't have a problem with that. Oh, she likes us too. <laughs> awesome. I'll pay for your next drink then. What will you have? I'll have a cobalt velvet. And you, and you, Taylor? I'm fine, actually. You're gonna have me drink alone? I don't want to drink that much. Wait, but they don't even get drunk. If why don't they not want to drink if they don't want to get drunk? Is it just expensive? But they're buying someone else a drink. Taylor, I don't understand you. Taylor, your brain is too large for me. Taylor, I don't get it. You are too big brain. Yeah, how does the brain make money? Oh, they have a little brain down here. <laughs> that would be so cute. Little baby. Little baby brain tummy. A little little baby brain tummy has a little tiny little brain bladder and it can't hold a lot of alcohol before it before it gotta go. Yeah, how does the brain make money? Are they just paying it for like being a brain that walks around? That'd be pretty wild. Okay then. Let's make a cobalt velvet straight from Taylor to Alma. This is a nice, uh, straightforward start to the day. Everyone's buying drinks by the name of the drink, you know? Like, no one's saying, I need the drink that was designed in 1653 by the great lords of, of the Aztec Empire. Um, you have to remember which one that was, I'm not telling you. It's like, bro, bro, I don't know. <laughs> you get paid for being a brain that walks around? You're right, we're all brains in jars. If they can get paid for being a brain in a jar, I should be able to get paid for being a brain in a jar. You're so right. <laughs> we are all dismembered bodies with brains floating in wet thing. We deserve benefits. This is an unfair society. We deserve all the benefits of Brain in a Jar, which is free money for doing nothing. We all need it. 
I like this drink though, this cobalt velvet. This looks really cool. Like it's like a weird little glass and I like that. It's like a funky little thing. I like this song, Glitch City. It's a cool one. Your drink. Hope you enjoy it. You know, you've been nicer to me these past minutes than at least three guys have been in the last year. Judging from the way you talk, I'm guessing you've been a client here for a while now, right? Only for about half a year or so, if memory serves right. Really? One would think it's been longer. Us, Jill, are just so good at making friends with people. We're so good at making friends with people. People love us. That's what's going on. That's it. <sighs> it feels like it's been longer. <laughs> Shut up. You love me and you know it. So you just started coming here and that was it? Well, the first time I came here, the other guy... Speaking of which, where's Pablo? Who's Pablo? Gillian. Archimedes. You know, adventuring or something. Anyway, the other guy served me the first time I came here. Nothing unusual there. The next time I showed up, Jill here was the one serving and... I don't know, I feel like she just gets me. Meanwhile, Alma spends all of her time here insulting us. I feel like she's like, yeah, Jill. Jill's down with me just insulting her. And it's fine. <laughs> and she's she's just she's just cool with getting insulted. And life is great. <laughs> There's this chemistry. We click. We click? Yeah, we click, she says. <laughs> we click, Meta! And that she can insult us, and we are just down with it. We're just cool with it. <laughs> the fact that I feel more chemistry with her than with many other people is kind of sad, though. Yeah, look what she's insulting us right now. She's like, oh, I feel like you're not, like, that cool. Like, I wish that I had better chemistry with, like, other people. Alma, please. <laughs> I do think it's cool that she's a hacker, though. Like, I do love Alma. As much as I'm going to rag on her, I love her. It's always good to see a nice friendship. Sadly, it's getting late and I've gotta go. I'll leave you two lovely ladies alone. See ya. Oh, they're so cute and they're leaving. Our poor, our poor brain in a jar is gone. I hope they come back. I hope Taylor comes back. They're real cool. Bye. Please come again. That Taylor sure was nice. A bit weird at first, though. Apparently one of five brains being studied by scientists or something. Imagine they go very slowly and make a lot of noise. They've just got like a whole mecha suit. They've just like, it's an entire little mecha suit that their brain is piloting around and it just goes like, ju-chunk, ju-chunk, ju-chunk. And, and that's like, yes, <laughs> they go out the door. A brrr from a Roomba. They just, yeah, they're just, uh, they're just going brrr, you know? Like, it's like the meme. That meme that was a meme like a few years ago, right? People still remember that meme, right? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they're uh, that's so cute. They're like little brain just just clomping around. Adorable. <laughs> All right, they're one of five brains. There's a summary of it in this pamphlet. Let's see. Oh yeah, I've heard of them before. Can't believe I actually met one. They're a celebrity. A celebrity flirted with us. That's pretty cute. Say, Alma, how many people are there in your family? Just curious. Well, aside from my mom and dad, we're five si sorry, four sisters and one brother. Funnily enough, we all have names that start with the first five letters in the alphabet. Is she the oldest? Right? So you're the eldest one? <laughs> no, I'm actually the middle kid. Their parents just like got halfway through and were like, Ooh, our first kids are like A, D, and E, you know? We gotta, we gotta have two more. If we have two more, then we can name them B's and C's. We gotta have five kids. <laughs> it's predestined. It would be funny. Just do it for the bit, right? Just have two more kids for the vine. You gotta do it. <laughs> You're the middle kid, but your name starts with an A. Don't think too much about it. I never said the order reflected our ages. 
my sister Carlotta is the eldest one, and then there's Diana just before me. Then comes Eva, and at the bottom lies Bella. <clears throat> Sorry, the bottom one is the youngest one is Bernardo. <laughs> Bernardo also kind of a bottom. <laughs> I love uh, I love trans Bernardo. Trans Bernardo is my life. You've never been alone, I'm guessing. <laughs> Can't complain about that, I guess. It helps that we're never five in the same house. By the time Evita and Bernie were born, Diana and Carlotta had already moved. Speaking of family, today I came because I needed a break from everything that's been going on with them. Yeah, we have our trans mask representation. We love it. We love to see trans mask Bernie. They're our buddy. Do you live with them? No, but Evita and Bernie do. Not to mention I visit them almost every day. That's so cute. Like, she like is friends with her family. She's like a cute hacker with glasses. And a, she's so cute. And she's like friends with her family. Thank you for the hydrate redeem, Scully. You're also right that I really should be drinking more water. <laughs> doing lots of talking in this game so it's important to stay hydrated <clears throat> and stretch oh boy I haven't done that all day oh goodness oh goodness I haven't stretched oh my back oh my back <laughs> everyone else stretch too Anyway, my second eldest sister, Diana, just separated from her husband. <laughs> Poor Beck, it's dying. <laughs> it's not even been a week, but she's already got some other guy in her bed. She left her kid with her husband's parents and pretty much like, forgot about them. No, Diana, no, not like this. Never mind the fact that they need to go to school and all that. Damn. Diana's life has always been messy, but these days she's really making it big. <laughs> oh my friend. I'm surprised it didn't make any noises this time. <laughs> but yeah, oh my neck. Oh my back. <laughs> yeah, we love we love Alma. We love Jill. We love Dana. We love everybody. I also kind of love Donovan because he's really funny. He's just like an angry old man. He's not even that old. He's like an angry middle-aged man. I love everyone. They're all so cute in their own ways. We're also having girls time in the bar today, you know? Like, like we have Alma and we have us and we have Dana. It's been, it's been a girls day in the bar. Taylor, Taylor counts, you know? <laughs> Alright, she wants a time for herself to live her life. She didn't think about that when she married the guy at 20. That's so young, you know? So young. 20 year olds? So young. <laughs> it's children. <laughs> I feel like every time I see college students, every time it's like they're younger and younger, you know? Every time I look at them, I'm like, you're a baby, you know? It's like it used to be like you're a college student, you're like an adult, and now when I see college students, I'm like, oh my god, this is a child. And they're taller than me. These children are taller than me. And it's it's a tragedy. It's a travesty. <laughs> She didn't think about that when marrying the guy she'd only known for like three months. Oof. You should take your own advice? Wait, is she marrying people after three months? The fuck is Alma doing? Hey, I'd never marry someone who could catch my attention so quickly, okay? Sure, there was that one time when it almost happened, but I blame the damn stadium kiss cam. <laughs> kiss cam? I was going out with a guy my little sister introduced me to. Seems he was her friend's brother or something. We went out a couple of times and he invited me to a basketball game. The mood was nice, but then later the kiss cam focused on us and instead of kissing me, he proposed. I almost got caught in the mood and accepted. Oh God. <laughs> he was ballin'. 
They were balling. He was like, it's time to ball. It's time to play ball. I'm trying to come up with other jokes related to basketball and I don't have any. I don't know anything about basketball. They need to make another... I, okay, I, I guess I could watch Kuroko's basketball. The only time I learn anything about sports is from sports anime. Like, I know some things about volleyball now, and I know some things about soccer now. But I don't know anything about basketball. <laughs> it's bad. People were talking about soccer after the World Cup, and they were trying to talk about soccer, like, real life. And I was like, I can talk about sports anime. I can talk about soccer anime. <laughs> don't do anything about real life soccer. <laughs> they were talking about like people's names and I was like, oh, I don't know people. I don't know people's names. I don't know these names at all. But yeah, she left him fallen. Yes. <laughs> it's real. <laughs> it's got a football. I'm an American. It's called soccer here. I will get too confused. If people start calling it football, I'm going to get so confused. My brain isn't big enough for that. <laughs> but oh yeah, okay, the fucking kiss cam. That's so wild. Did it propose? Oof. Huh. <laughs> so I take it you rejected him in the stadium on the fucking kiss cam. We've been out for like three weeks. I don't know, maybe he wanted to get in my pants with the old sex on the wedding night line. But I honest to God can't understand why he thought it would be a good idea. I'm with, I'm with Owl on this. This is wild. This is insane. What was this person doing? That sounds too convoluted, you know? Proposing and waiting for the wedding night just for sex? I guess he's like, it'd be faster. <laughs> be faster than waiting but wild never underestimate a man is willing wait never underestimate the lengths a man is willing to go to to get you and they're bad I've seen more convoluted plots over the years I'm feeling tempted to ask but I'll pass that is a lot <laughs> we're gonna pass and to be fair she's not wrong I, ca I can't really I can't really back this one up I can't I don't have enough experience to comment on this one. <laughs> I'll trust you on that. <laughs> Want anything else? Hmm? What's that bottle? Oh, yeah, it's just some rum a client gave me yesterday. Just some rum from a friend? Just a, just a, just a buddy giving me a gift of beautiful old alcohol that I love dearly? It's a guy you know, guys. I'll trust you on that one. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Alma not friend enough to get served rum? I mean, it's like a special. It's a gift from a friend. Like, I guess maybe we can give her the rum, but it's a gift from a friend. Sango, how's it going? Are you feeling better? A gift? <laughs> what did you do? You're not sick anymore, but you die from work. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's really unfortunate. I'm glad you're not sick anymore. But yeah, I feel like it's like that sometimes. You're like, oh, now that I don't have one problem, it's time for problem number two. Life is like, hey, you got over that one? How about you get punched you and you got up again? How about I do it again? Wouldn't that be funny? Just do it again. Yeah, I'm sorry. Things aren't, you're not feeling so good. <laughs> but wait, there's more problems. <laughs> life is the dark souls of life. It truly is. I feel like, I feel like Elden Ring though. Like, I die and I just get back up again and it's okay. Like, life isn't like that, you know? In life, if you die, in life, if, in life, you, you die when you're killed, you know? You don't get another chance. You just, you just die. But yeah, this song is really good. <laughs> yeah, people die when they're killed, didn't you know? Truly tragic, people die when they're killed. 
<laughs> life is Minecraft. Life is you die and you lose all of your things and have to like run headlong across the map to get your things back. <laughs> yeah, in Elden Runes we get to die. I've been not picking up my runes recently in Elden Ring. I've been dying and letting them drop and I'm just like, I'm not going back. Nope, those are gone. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I'm losing, they're, oh, we're gone. We're not going back. <laughs> we don't need those. <laughs> Yeah, never having the things you need to get the other things. Life is too hard. Life is so hard. They should uh they should make an update. They should make an update to life so we can play life in easy mode, you know? I wanna I want I want easy mode life. Oh, I just gotta open the console and like set peaceful, you know? That's what you gotta do. Set creative mode in life. <laughs> creative mode life would be pretty good. I would take that. Uh, good enough service, I'm guessing. For our run. Cut. See, kid? <laughs> huh, interesting name. I, I butchered that. I butchered that the worst. That's okay. <laughs> what does it mean? Cut. Kasik? I'm gonna go with Kasik. Kasik's the name of the chieftain in some native tribes. I see. Do you want me to serve you some of this? <laughs> She's like, oh, what's this rum you got here? Hmm, what's that? Oh, I know some things about that. Hmm, pretty interesting. Hmm, hmm, hmm. <laughs> Do you want it? Oh, no, she doesn't even want it. <laughs> I'll pass. I don't have too many good memories where rum's involved. We can make some new ones. We can make some new memories, Alma, and they'll be your beautiful new rum memories, and everything will be lovely. Get me a fringe weaver instead, will ya? All right, all right, fringe weaver. Nice, easy orders, and it's gonna get worse. Oh my gosh, she really wants to get drunk today. She is ordering the get drunk drink, and she she can have it. She can get real drunk. We did it. Three for three. Three for three today. One fringe weaver. What? What kind of memories do you have with rum? Nothing you need to worry about. Okay. We're not we're not asking. You know, we don't need to know. Mouth shut. Alright, now's my turn to ask questions. <laughs> about what? What kind of family is your family? Oh god. Well, I'm an only child. My mom and dad split amicably. My mom is a violinist, so she was always home. Uh, she was always away from home with the orchestra. I spent most of my time with my dad, my aunt, and my grandpa. Aside from that, I'd say my childhood was quite uneventful. Huh? Didn't you get something like your mom's artistic vein or something? Yeah, that's like cool, like a violinist. Very cool. Like I don't think I even know anyone who plays violin. We're all uh, everyone's like piano people. I played the violin until I was around 16, I think. What made you stop? I don't know. I just kind of said, that's it. One day, and stopped. <laughs> that's life. Story of, story of life, you know? What about cousins and the rest of your family? I see very little of them, actually. Mainly because my dad moved away from most of them. Most of my mom's family live in France to boot. Oh, she is French. She is a friends. It will be like that sometimes. So your mom's French? Yep. Can you speak French? <gasps> oh no! Yo, I'm so sorry! <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alma, we are the true artist of the drinks. Alright. More. Oh, glacier, éplon, tanguy. That's 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 the best we got. <laughs> that's the best I got. Ooh, what does that mean? Rubbish. I don't know. Can't speak French. <laughs> I did try though, but college started and I stopped taking classes. Funny thing, I actually have a cousin from my mom's side that lives close by. But you'll be hard-pressed to make me spot him in a crowd. 
He's a long lost cousin. You wouldn't even know, you know? You're kind of lucky, you know? All of my mom's side of the family lives here. The chances of me meeting someone I'm related to on the street are ridiculously high. Okay, I have to tell a story related to this. That's wild. So, okay. Not family, but like someone that I work with and like a friend of mine. Like, four weeks in a row, we have bumped into each other like in real life. Like on the weekend. The first two times it was at the grocery store on Saturday in the afternoon. And I was like, okay, we just go to the same grocery store in Saturday afternoon. After I stream, I go to the grocery store. This is like totally normal. This is like how it goes. And then the third week in a row, I was like at a coffee shop and I saw them, him and his girlfriend, like outside the coffee shop. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> but it was like the coffee shop is on the way to the grocery for I guess both of us and so it was just like oh you know that's kind of normal but then last weekend I was at CVS picking something up and and they were there too it was like a Sunday it wasn't even a Saturday we weren't at groceries and it was like it was the, the fourth weekend in a row that we bumped into each other and it was wild I was like this is this is getting weird. He's been joking that I'm stalking him, and it's like, at this point, I have no defense against that. Like, like maybe I am, and I don't even know, you know? <laughs> like, like some of the times, it's like, okay, sometimes we get to the grocery store first. But the CVS was like, no, he was definitely at the CVS first. I have no justification. It was very weird. <laughs> Doing the Spider-Man pointing me. Yeah, the first time it was like, oh, it's you. And the rest of the time it was just like, ha 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 ha. Oh, it's you again. And then the CVS, I was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, I was like, what? <laughs> it's you? We like, we like both like stared at each other for a while of like, it's you again. <laughs> it was like very weird. Yeah, I've never beaten stalking allegations. It's like, maybe at this point I should just accept it and just become a stalker, you know? <laughs> like, like, maybe I should just say, like, this is my destiny. I'm just a stalker at this point, and I should just accept that this is what's going on. <laughs> All right, Alma. <laughs> but yeah, that's the primer on my family. Nothing too interesting, sadly. Your mom's a French violinist, and you call that uninteresting? I'm wondering if your family has ever made a fuss about you being a hacker. A hacker makes it sound too exotic. It's like if I called you a mixologist. Actually, do that. Do that. Now that you've mentioned it, you have to do it. Now that you've suggested to call me a mixologist, you're required. It's, it's, you have to do that. I expect it from now on. <laughs> Please don't ever. This sounds like something someone would say to make a bartender sound sophisticated. But you are a sophisticated Jill. Jill, you're the fanciest bartender that works in a silly little dive bar in the cyberpunk future. Hell yeah, you got it. See? I mean, hacker is a good way to summarize it, but it's not the best. I'm a security consultant. People want to find flaws in the security of their systems, and I do my best to pinpoint where it breaks. Be it Glitch City or anywhere else in the world, they need security, and I'm their woman. That's kind of hot, though, you know? Like, that honestly sounds cooler than calling yourself a hacker. It's like, damn. She, she got a brain in there. And she's, 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 she's a smart cutie. I like her. You've told quite a few stories about cracking into databases to retrieve info like some sort of mercenary, though. That doesn't change the fact that hacker is not the best term to use. It makes the whole uh, thing sound illegal when it's actually an honest job. Now she's just a penetration tester. She just knows all about that penetration. Knows so much about it. Just, uh, just an absolute expert on penetration. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she, yeah, yeah, she does use a bunch of VP. Is she the one who uses the VPNs? Somebody does. Definitely somebody. I can't remember if it's her. <laughs> I mean, pen tester is the term, you know? <laughs> Didn't you tell me one you once secured some incriminating pics from a guy's cell phone? Oh, fuck yeah. Hell yeah. A mostly honest job. Sheesh. Sheesh. 
<laughs> what made you become a hacker, by the way? I've always been a sucker for puzzles. She's to me. She's just to me. I love her. Even as a kid, I always had Doku or Crossword with me. Oh my god, she's literally me. Like, sometimes I see a thing and I'm just like, it just adds me. It just adds me. And it's like, this is you. This is you. <laughs> You're too close to home with the puzzles. This is like literally me for real, for real, to like, to like a slightly uncomfortable degree, you know? It's like, oh, this is me. This is actually me. But at some point, they started feeling kind of samey. Yeah. So when I started college, I took a course on system security. It felt like the kind of puzzle I was looking for. Like, relatable. Like, I don't do security, but like, systems is like... Like, this is... This is it! This is the one! This is the, like, weird, complicated, intense, insane puzzle that's like, when it works, it's beautiful. When it works, it's just like, oh yes, I've spent the last 50 hours trying to make this thing work, and now it works, and... And, like, nothing will ever be as good as this. <laughs> I love her. There's always that point where it's a matter of winning against the puzzle. I can't let it beat me. That's how I am with, like, work stuff, though. It's like, I can't let it beat me. I am stronger than the computer. I have muscles and the computer doesn't. I am more powerful than the computer and I can win in the end. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I like this one. I mean, there are all kinds of things involved in breaching net security. Ooh, networks is terrible, though. <laughs> you don't need to attack the stuff from different angles. Or you need to attack the stuff from different angles. And it's something that's always evolving. The whole point of everything is to strengthen security. <laughs> computer, why aren't you doing what I say? No, computer, you did what I say. You were supposed to do what I meant, not what I said. God damn it, computer. A little dum dum. And networks. <laughs> too much, too much network related trauma in my life. Every time I've tried to deal with networks, it's been like the worst. To be fair, all of the network stuff I tried to work with was the worst stuff I could have chosen to work with in networks. So that's also kind of my fault. But also, but also, networks are terrible. Every time you think you've got the gist of it, they change everything. So it's kind of like an always evolving puzzle. A puzzle I helped to make harder at that. Huh, I didn't think about it that way. Oh, buddy, I think about it that way. Oh, buddy, that's the way. That's the way, and it's so good. It's like, this is, this is why it's fun, you know? This is why this stuff is cool and fun. I just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> She's really cool. It is it's, it's less action-y than what movies fake it up to be, though. No real-time frantic typing, nothing like that. Still, seeing my code break through something, it's an amazing feeling. When you have anything out- Why are we doing this never top topping? I like this subject, where are we- Why are we moving on from the subject? I liked it, this one's cool. <laughs> Do you have anything else? Mm -hmm. I'll have a classy drink. Any classy drink. Here goes nothing. Damn, I want to be as cool as Alma one day, you know? She's so, she's so cool. I love her. All right, a bad touch. Ooh, we can give her a bad touch. A brand teeny. She's kind of a smug asshole, so maybe that works for her. But we like her right now, so we'll give her something cool. A cobalt velvet. She got one of those earlier, right? Fringe Weaver. Uh, Mercury Blast. Sour, classy, and burning. It doesn't sound very good. Let's give her a bad touch. That sounds cool. Two, two, four. On the rocks and mix. Yeah, we did it. Four for four. Here you are. <laughs> yep, just what I needed. Thanks. Say, Jill, what's the worst that could happen if you don't get your drinks right? Or if I get the chance to make every drink in your playthrough? I wonder. If probably if you try. I bet if you try, you could, you know? 
I haven't really been thinking about it though. I've just been making whichever one seems like the funnest. <laughs> whichever one is most thematic at the time. Like if I want to punch someone, they get a gut punch, you know? That's what they were asking for and that's what they get. Yeah, that would require me to remember what drinks I've made. Sometimes I remember what drinks I've made. That one's like a little bit easier than remembering other things. Cause it's like, oh yeah, I recognize that one. Versus like, I've never done, I've never seen this one in my life. Worst case, I would just make some of them multiple times, you know? <laughs> Alright. What's the worst that can happen? Make bleach. Well, uh, people have the right not to give me money. If they don't pay for it, I don't get my bonus. No bonus means less money and no tips, which doesn't help because I have to pay the bills. Oh, I see. Do you have to make an effort to pay your bills? Nope. Oh, I'm so jealous. So <laughs> jealous. <laughs> Alma, show me the way. Alma, show me the way. Alma, are you looking for a sugar baby? Alma, Alma, you want a sugar baby in your life? I, I've i got someone in mind. I have someone in mind who I think would be a great sugar baby, Alma. And they would never have to think about, would never have to think about bills again in the rest of their life. <laughs> hey yo, Alma? Alma, please? <laughs> you have no idea how much I hate you right now. <laughs> well, my job pays pretty well, and I'm not the kind to spend too much money on things other than food and bills. Hand to sugar, baby? <laughs> Maybe maintenance on my hands and new equipment, but aside from that... Oh, I know. If you have trouble with your bills, why not... <gasps> Live with me! It's real! It's real! <gasps> we could be roommates. And they were roommates. We could be roommates. <laughs> oh, my roommates, the arc is real. It's gonna happen. <gasps> Do no? That's not a no. Honestly, coming from Jill, not a no is pretty good. I'll take not a no. Do no? Moving my stuff to the stairs because the elevator's broken. Having to move my liquor collection. Yeah, Jill. Jill is like no. Every time people are like, but we could be actually close. She's like, no, we couldn't. It's not my job. My job is to be a bartender. I want to go home to my cat and nobody else. Which honestly, that's kind of relatable, you know? Just like, I want home to be my cat. And that's it. My cat and my weird little plant. It's a hollow plant, a holograph of a plant. What's the difference between a holograph and a hologram? It's a hologram of a plant, right? These are probably really different. <laughs> Ugh, but chill. Doesn't want to move her liquor collection. Never mind the fact that my cat's a shut-in and that got very upset the one time I moved some furniture around. This sounds like an excuse, Jill. This sounds like a cope, Jill. You could do it. Could be real. All my romance real. <sighs> the idea of moving just gives me a headache. <laughs> oh, just a cat. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> This little guy, you know, he's just a little guy. We're all just, we're all just a little guy. <laughs> you shouldn't take things so seriously when I say them, you know. Oh, ma. Oh, there's a little bit of a frown in there for a second. There's a little bit for a second. <laughs> I don't know, but I've thought about it before. Eepy Lyra, a little bit. It's been a long week. It's okay. Now I need some air. I'm gonna take my break. You wanna come? We've never invited anyone on our break before. It's real. Are you inviting me to the back of the bar? <laughs> you should invite me to dinner first. It's real. It's so real. Every minute you waste making jokes is time taken from my break. <laughs> Fine, let's go. Boss, I'm taking my break. Call me if anyone comes in. We're doing it. We're taking a break with Alma. It's real. Sure, sure. Oh, it's so cute. I don't think we actually get to see her though. I think we just get to save the game. But it's real. She was like, take me out to dinner first. And we were like, how about I don't? And she was like, all right, I'm down with that.
I'll do it anyway. <gasps> Fuck yeah. Oh, so cute. I don't remember this person's name, but it's so cute. Yeah, the Jill power play. Actually, Jill is too powerful. She's she's so powerful, you know? Jill must be stopped. Alright. Cold, 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 cold. Ooh, music. Alright, I'm just gonna go with what we got. It's pretty good. I like it. It sure is chilly out there. It's kind of refreshing. The hobo out there seems like a nice guy. Billy Vine? Yeah, he's a cool guy. Very respectful. Apparently, he's got into some legal trouble, and that's why he's like that. Oh, too bad for Billy Joe. Billy. Billy Vine. Billy Vine. Really? Gotta turn the jukebox back on. Oh, gotta get the ramen back. Oh, yeah, ramen's back. All right, we're good. Ready to go. <clears throat> he could also just be a very nice crackhead, though. I have a cousin that lives like a hobo, actually. This could be her cousin! You know, she said she wouldn't recognize her cousin who lives in town. This could be him and she wouldn't even know. Alright, water. Really? It's a bit complicated, though. Problem is, his family has tried to get him to live with them, but his pride won't let him accept their help. mama has got a lot of family problems. It's like, I'm gonna try to move this. I think that's better, actually. I think the eye is staying open more. I think my microphone was in the way. <laughs> but on one day, we can do a guy's voice. There's no guys. It's true, it's true. <laughs> uh, I mean, maybe there'll be a guy later. Maybe there'll be a guy later. He'd rather live on the streets for some reason. You can't tell with some people, sadly. Why did he become a hobo in the first place? Bad investments and debts. Bank evicted him from his house. Watch, I'll just fuck up my voice even more for next time. <laughs> so that there will be a guy for next time and I'll be like, Oh yeah, I could so do this. Fuck yeah, guy voice. I got this one. <laughs> <laughs> Things we do for content. <laughs> oh. It's a serious problem because he has epileptic attacks but refuses to take his medication. Alma's like surprisingly open with us about all of her family problems. Like she's surprisingly just like willing to tell us all of her family issues. She's like kind of surprising. You know? Like we're just a bartender she's known for like six months. It's a lot. I just don't get what's up with him. Honey, some service here. All right, I have to see Dorothy to remember which one she is. <laughs> I'm here, don't scream. Uh huh. were you two hanging under the back of the bar? What kind of stuff are you doing? Just talking. Is that what they call it these days? <laughs> what do you want? Oh, we have like the horniest ones here. It's a, it's a horny day in the bar. Something soft, something sweet. No alcohol, please. Wouldn't it be the same if you just grabbed a soda from the vending machine? I think my hair is probably in the way, actually, at this point. But I like you! Oh. <laughs> yeah, the Rizzler is the purest by far, you're right! Like, everyone else is, like, real horny, and the Rizzler is like, Oh, I think you're cute. And we're like, you want to do something? And they're like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> Dorothy, her crying face is so cute with the little mouth. Oh, it's adorable. Do you dislike my presence so much? Hmm. Sweet and non-alcoholic, you say? All right. All right. Sweet and non-alcoholic. Sweet? Sugar rush? Optional carmatrine? That seems about right. She did say sweet and soft. Is soft a thing? I don't think soft is a thing. Sparkle star. That's cute. And there's optional carmatrine as well. Oopsie. Sweet. We made a blue fairy already today. This one has actual carmatrine required. This Martini Piano Woman. Let's do a sparkle star. I don't think we've made a sparkle star yet. Yeah, we have every alcohol. This is also like two ingredients. 
Like, this is a very... Like, we mixed, like, a couple of things, you know? Like, this is a very simple drink. Alright, here's your sparkle star. For the beautiful star that you are. Here, like you asked. See? You don't get this kind of treatment from vending machines. Unless you're Lawrence. But he has this weird idea that good service is the same as selling lukewarm cans of cola. Lawrence? A friend of mine. He's a vending machine. What? I mean, I guess she's a robot. I guess in the future we have sentient vending machines. I feel like this feels like like a light novel, you know? That time I was reincarnated as a vending machine in the cyberpunk future, but I also think that service is the same as giving people lukewarm cans of cola. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Imagine dating a vending machine. You could have all the soda you want. Soda for free all the time? They also have, they have a lot of money. I feel like dating a vending machine might not be that bad. But yeah, it's a, uh, it's um, fridge coon. You could date fridge coon, fridge senpai. Refrigerator senpai, yeah. I remember there was chair coon. The, the adventures of the chair anime, the chair coon. <laughs> In altered carbon, the cheap hotels were run by an AI and the AIs would all get together and play poker together in the matrix. Oh. That's, like, very cute of them. I feel like if you play poker in the Matrix, it's, like, not with real money. And so it's, like, fine, right? You know? <laughs> Straight people will make vending machines instead of men kissing. But we could, we could have the vending machines kissing other vending machines, you know? The, the vending machines could be, could be homo for the other vending machines, you know? Could be real. <laughs> really, it, should, it just gives us more chance for vending machine on vending machine action. Two vending machines having sex. Two vending machines having sex. Muscles, my muscles, involuntary flex. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think I think the eye is staying open better now that I moved my hair out of the way. <laughs> I think it was just my hair. Rip. I need to trim my bangs. They're really long. Two vending machines having sex. I mean, it could be real. Two vending machines having sex. You could imagine. You just have to think it. Think it. And it's real. In your imagination. The things you can do with imagination. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Oh, but how impolite of me. Hmm. I am lovely, and my name's Dorothy. Dorothy Hayes. Nice to meet you. Oh, I'm Alma. The pleasure's mine. Dorothy, you say? Yep. Why? Nothing. I guess I've heard about you before. Really? What kind of stuff? Tell me, tell me. We'll see about your, um, fluffiness. That's gotta be something, you know? That's gotta be. Like, she's gotta be meaning something by that. I don't know what she's meaning. She means something. She's saying something with her words. It's happening. And here I was thinking it was because I'm a sex worker. So much for trying to be subtle. <laughs> hey, I take pride in my job. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing it. She's trying to communicate. You're right. You're so right. That's what I got from that. She's trying to communicate. She's doing it. Isn't it dangerous? I know how to take care of myself. Thank you very much. Where do you work, Ama? I'm a hacker. You know, earlier she was like, I'm not really a hacker. You know, I'm more of a security specialist. And now she's like, I'm a hacker. It's a, I'm, I'm cool. You, you want to see you, what your job is sexy? My job is sexy too. I'm cool. Really? A full-fledged hacker? Not the kind that sees a computer logged into some account and says that's hacking, right? Alright, getting some whiskey. Ooh, I hope it's fun and exciting whiskey. I don't know anything about whiskey. I hope it's good. No, of course not. <laughs> I've always been curious about how being a hacker works. Do you just start typing really fast while waiting for something to happen? Oh, no. 
you're cute, but no. You're cute, so I'll forgive you, but no, Dorothy. <laughs> no, that's not how it works. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Copy paste. Type yeah, it's the the password. You know, you go you go up to the password and you type Hunter Two, and it always works because that's that's password. You know, it's password. <clears throat> I can explain, but I don't know if you'll get it. We won't know until you try, right? Last time I said that, I had to jam the plot. Wait, last time I said that, I had to jam the plastic replica of Halogen light bulb up a grown man's ass. I feel like you can know that that one wouldn't work before you try. You know, you can know like light bulbs are should not go into asses, and you should know that before you try. <laughs> you open the dark console and type holy fucking bingo, and then boom, you're hacking them. <laughs> You're a hacker. Holy fucking bingle is the secret word that every computer knows that says, Oh, this is a hacker. We have to let them through because they're a hacker this time. They're real cool. They got the secret word. Got the secret passage. They're one of us. I love it. That's, uh, that's right. That's it. That's how it goes. <laughs> it was a success. Wait. That worked? They actually put... They actually got it up the guy's asshole that's honestly incredible i'm honestly like i'm kind of impressed I, you know like i wouldn't think that would work the guy's got some serious stretch you know maybe dorothy is actually the penetration specialist here and not us you know like i was like the penetration tester but uh but you know dorothy is the penetration tester mm -hmm. Okay then, let me try to explain in general how it works. Let's say I have to retrieve information from a company's database. All right. First, I do some research on the target, OS, servers, how the information is stored and all that. There have been a couple of occasions where I had to go in blind, but they're the exception rather than the rule. First, I secure things from my side. I start working behind proxies, websites, and through other more vulnerable computers I find along the way. Uh-huh. After that, I start testing the networks. She's gone. Dorothy's gone. We're gonna keep going, but Dorothy's gone. <laughs> I go through the basic protocols, try known exploits as long as they don't trigger any alarm. Once I've tested the ground, the fun starts. I go through all the security protocols and look to bypass them. Sometimes I have to look deeper into the code for the password itself. Uh, I see. Then, when I'm finally in, I go and retrieve user privileges. After that, I go and try to become a super user and get what I need. Huh? How do you do that? Well, there are a couple of ways. I can use a pre-made program to hack into an already existing account. I can use info somebody already gave me. But the usual way is using a buffer overflow. B -b buff is she scared because she doesn't know what that is? Or is she scared because she's a robot and the concept of a buffer overflow is terrifying to her? Like, I feel like it probably should be. Like, she's a robot, and so she's like, oh, this is how you break computers. And she's like, oh, fuck, I'm a computer. This is good work on me. Please don't hack me. But I also can't tell what's going on. What happens next? What happens next? I create a backdoor in system before leaving and cover my tracks. I can't... Yeah, she's just... I can't handle it anymore. Alma, hack me. Hack me like you've never hacked anything before. Oh, she's real horny. That explains it. She's... It's just computer talk is her thing. She was like, oh, talk dirty to me, Alma. And Alma was like, I will explain my job to you. And Dorothy is like, oh, talk dirty to me more. <laughs> <laughs> Dorothy, oh my god, you gotta get consent before you do something like this, Dorothy. Dorothy, please. <laughs> Make my buffer overflow, create a backdoor in me, escalate your user privileges, don't find flaws in my security. <laughs> this is one way to get a job. 
This is one kind of job. Yes, this is from the moon. This is from the moon, you know? Surprisingly. Um. <laughs> I think this is really funny, though. Dorothy is so funny. She's like, oh my god, you're talking computer to me. I'm so turned on. <laughs> She's so cute. She's so good. She's like a sex worker too, but she's like, oh my gosh, you're talking about buffer overflows. Ah, oh, that's my favorite. Oh, she's so cute. Sorry, I got carried away. No shit, what happened? Have you seen those movies or books where a couple does something like paint a picture or cook? But they make it sound like they're having sex instead. Suggestive scenes, yeah. Well, the whole thing was kind of like that for me. Really? I guess humans don't really get it because their minds don't upload to networks or anything. But trust me, if you recorded yourself giving a really detailed explanation in a really sexy voice, you'd make millions. Horny women are an unexploited market. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, doing sex work is so fine, but getting... <laughs> she's so happy about getting hacked. <laughs> Remote code execution, your favorite vulnerability. Mm, so, so horny for that remote code execution. I also like how she's just here for the business opportunity. She's like, if you said this, you could make a fortune on horny robots. There are horny robots everywhere. You could make so much money on horny robots. It's, a, it's an untapped market. It's free real estate, and it could be yours. <laughs> I see. Oh, looks like my ride is here. <laughs> She's like, I'm gone. I'm out. I know that I've accidentally made the robot horny. I'm leaving. Bye. See you never. Bye. Your ride? She's <laughs> just calling her out. She was like, Alma, you are lying. <laughs> you just don't want to be around the horny robot. <sighs> Incredible. Yep, my brother-in-law came to look for me. Is it alright to ask that from him? It's okay. I've known him since preschool. It just so happened that he got married to my sister. Hey, Dorothy, you need a ride? <laughs> she actually doesn't want to be away from the horny robot. It's okay. Can you drop me by 3rd Street? Sure, it's on the way. Yay, I'll take your offer then. Bye, honey. Later, Jill. Take care. I hope they're okay. <laughs> I hope they're okay. The seat streams... Street seems... Noisy. Oh, a client. Hello, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get? Such a small, yet comfortable place. Truly an oasis of spiritual drinks in the midst of a suburban desert. Yet a guy, a place where lost and corrupt souls can gather to forget their troubles for a while. They're a, they're a riddler. We had the Rizzler and now we have the Rizzler. They got a question. Question mark on my forehead. A nest where everyone from the most pathetic scum to the vilest to trash drunkie can sit to kill their insides. Bro, we have some cool people here. Kira Miki came here. Kira Miki came to visit. We have cool people. <laughs> the middle-aged Riddler. The middle-aged That's what you are, sir, now. You're the middle-aged And too bad we don't get to see Meek. Miki on Miku Day. Yeah, Kira Miki frequents the bar and you are harshing our vibe, bro. You are giving off rancid vibes and we've got a beautiful thing going here. You don't gotta do that. <laughs> you don't have to be like that. Yeah, we don't get Kira Miki on Miku Day, sadly. <clears throat> Truly a real persona non grata. I don't know that they're using that right. I think they're not using that right. <laughs> a literal mercenary, you're right. And plenty of rich people. Donovan? 
Yeah, a guy who kills people. Also Donovan. Also Dana and Gillian. Our bar is full of cool people. It's just you. That's Latin for a mysterious place, by the way. <laughs> I'm so smart and philosophical. <laughs> and the cops, but like, the cute cops, so it's okay. Alright, we've got ourselves a persona non grata here. What will you have then? It is 17. Uh, excuse me? I said 17. 7 plus teen. <laughs> Seven. That's actually so good. 17, 7 plus T. That's so good. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what does it mean to you? Just to be sure, 17 is about the drink you want, right? Only if you want it to be. I kind of do want it to be. I want you to pay me. So yes. 17, what the hell does that mean? All right. Any of these related to 17 at all? Maybe one of them has like 17 ingredients? This is a beer, not that one. Bleeding Jane seems wrong. Bloom Light seems wrong. Blue Fairy is $170. That could be considered 7 plus teen, I guess. Yeah, the rest of these don't have interesting prices. So that's something. The brand chini. Oh, I mean, they're a smug asshole, so I feel like maybe this is right, you know? Like, maybe it's a brand teeny. We could give them a brand teeny. Cobalt? Velvet? There's nothing 17 about this. Every spike? Fluffy dream? Hmm. Okay, none of the rest of these seem particularly 17 in any way. Oh wait, are you talking to Question Mark Boy? We are talking to Question Mark Boy. He was like, 17. 17 is the drink in question. I was like, bro. Oh, 7 plus T. <laughs> See, I can tell you what I want you to do. Or, I could give you a riddle. <laughs> <laughs> it will be too easy. I have to see if you pass my challenge. 17th drink on the list? Maybe. Huh? Riddle me this, bro. Alright, that would be a piano man. It doesn't have 17 ingredients, it has 18. Which is inconvenient. Does anything have 17 ingredients? This one's 18 as well. This is making me do math, and that's a real problem. Is anything related to 17 at all? I don't think so. Sunshine Cloud? Suplex? A Zen Star? Hmm. Yeah, I'm a hacker. Off by one errors. It's fine. It's just, uh, it's, they were just, uh, counting from two. It was just two index, right? No, zero index. <laughs> zero index, so it's fine. All right. This is again 18, 7, 8, 9, 10. I feel like most of these are like right at like 10. That's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is 13. We could put, we could just pick something that has a lot of, that has like optional Karmatrine and we can just shove it full of Karmatrine, you know? And then it would have 17. <laughs> That's the one way to do it. Uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, okay. Nothing else. My brain, my brain is melting. My brain is actively melting from having to do math right now. I don't think any drink has seven of any one ingredient in it. 
Maybe there's like a seven plus optional karma train. And that's seven plus teen. Okay, these don't have optional karma It's three, that's four. Brain is melty. All right. All right, I think I'm just gonna make him like something random, you know? Like, if I if we don't see something that's like seven plus optional karma train, I'm just gonna make him like whatever. And he'll be fine with it, cause like, that's how it is, you know? One with optional sounds good. We can make him a fluffy dream. Yeah, we can make it really big. Yeah, we can make him a double. But I feel like if I make him a double, then I'm just gonna be like spending ingredients on him, you know? And he's like not gonna pay me for it because I'm gonna get his drink wrong. <laughs> and he's gonna be like, well, this thing sucks. All right. This is, um. Is there anything that's teen? Yeah, the only thing that's teen would be like Karma Train. But I don't know. Let's find an optional Karma Train. It will knock the drunkenness out of you or knock you out cold. Let's do that. Let's give him a. Oh, fuck. Let's give him a crevice spike, just because I think that that's probably good for him. All right, pack it full of karma train. Blended. All right, I got no idea what he wants. Have a crevice spike. How is this a 17? It isn't. You said 17 would only be related to your drink if I thought it was, and I think it isn't. Ooh, you subverted my expectations by taking me literally sneaky. <laughs> I don't know what else he meant. <laughs> and what brings you here, mister? I am Armandio. Virgilio Armandio. He definitely made up his name. This is definitely not his real name. Yeah, he is pompous. See, I introduced myself using the Asian order because that's a lot more polite. Oh my god, he's this kind of weeb. Oh my god, I wanna like climb under my desk. Oh my god. <laughs> he's a weeb, but he's also like really into like Italian philosophy and stuff. Oh god, he's like the worst. He's the worst, the worst weeb. <laughs> I'm cringing. I'm cringing so hard. <laughs> Watashi wa big weebu dis. So there's a video from some guy who like made really funny like YouTube videos like a long ass time ago. C Boy RD. And there's a video that's like clearly from like his high school like Japanese class. And it's called Powerful Bad Boys. And it's beautiful. It's uh he's like Watashi Tachi wa bad des. Watashi Tachi wa rudo des. <laughs> Anime Yes, you know, it's really beautiful. You should check out Powerful Bad Boys. It's incredible. I love Powerful Bad Boys so much. Lives rent free in my brain, honestly. Okay, we're back to Virgilio, the Ultra Weeb, Turbo Weeb. Right. <laughs> and I came here looking for an otherworldly experience. You want a Mars Blast? I was passing by and saw this place is called Valhalla. I want to see the souls of resting warriors, the wounded spirits of noble souls. The golden hall full of never-ending banquets, the lively Valkyries looking over them. We have some arcade machines on the corner. That's like a Valkyrie, right? <laughs> it's good enough, right? No, 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 you're taking me too literally. You see, I'm being poetic. I'm giving a mysterious, mystical air to a mundane affair. I wanted to see drunk people. I wanted to see waitresses and food. Well, you can see a drunk person. It can be you. You can be the drunk person. I wanted to see the bar in all of its decadent glory. Well, you're out of luck. Today's been quite the slow day. I like that he's like, 
Yeah, vote just give him a gut punch next time. I was gonna give him a Brantini because it was like, that's a thing for smug assholes and this guy is really a smug asshole. So I feel like he might like it. But you know, next time. Next time we can give him a gut punch. I also feel like this is the day when like the bank is under attack. Like there's shit going down. And he's like, I'm sorry, your bar is too slow for me. There aren't enough people in your bar. And it's like, bro, there's a, there's a fucking terrorist attack going on, bruh. Bruh, look outside. There's no one there either. Also, he went to like the sleepiest bar he could find. So I feel like he's just not managing his expectations correctly. Not that I'm very surprised given how things have been going in the streets though. Humans are a nasty bunch. That much is true. Making a ruckus, coming at each other. But that's to be expected from the only mammal to kill its own. That's gotta be a lie. That has got to be fake news, you know? Like, there's no way. I'm no zoologist, but I'm pretty sure that's not the case. <laughs> oh yeah, then give me an example, not zoologist bartender. Oh my god, he's the worst. He's the worst. <laughs> like I said, I don't know exact details. I just know that it isn't right. <laughs> yeah, not the humans are naturally selfish. Oh, you think I'm wrong about something? What are your sources? I need 25 sources for you to say that you think I might not be right about something. What do you mean? Cyberpunk Redditor. <laughs> oh, I'm cringing so much. Oh, we can't even leave. We can't even do anything. We just have to sit here and be a good customer service lady and do our job as best as we can. <sighs> At least I can close Reddit when it gets bad. If memory serves right, once a lion takes over a pride, every cub born from another lion is killed. Or, or something. That also might not be true, but it's it's worth it. It's worth a try. <laughs> Takes over a pride. You cannot take over a pride. Pride isn't a tangible thing. Oh my... Oh, I'm dying. I'm dying. Oh, no. <laughs> like, this is a guy I know in real life, you know? Like, this is a guy I know in real life who's like, I'm sorry. The pride is just a intangible thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> gorillas eat monkey babies? Oh no. Oh no, gorillas. Oh no. But it's like, you know, like... Like, you, you know this type of guy. Like, you gotta... In CS? When you're in CS, you've met at least one of this guy in your life. Who's like, oh, you think you know things? I'm sorry, but you're a woman. There's no way that you can know things. I am the one who knows things in this conversation. And you have to be like, bitch, bitch, I know so many things. Bitch, I know things you never even dreamed could exist. All right, time to cringe more. <laughs> You need to stop making things up, not zoologist to bartender. <gasps> but going back on topic, do you know what the number 17 means? <laughs> yeah, just tell him we're talking about a literal pride. He'd be like, that's not a word. I was talking about the literal pride too, excuse me, you don't know what the word literal means. The atomic number of chlorine? It's a member of a very important K-pop group. Ooh, I should check them out. I don't listen to nearly enough K-pop. I only, I like listen to like exclusively just ultra weeb shit. And I like gotta break out of that a little bit. So I wanna try branching into K-pop. Okay, atomic number of chlorine. That's like weirdly on topic. That's like weirdly on topic for me accidentally breathing in chlorine gas. Accidentally making and breathing in chlorine gas. <laughs> on Saturday. Chlorine, it's my favorite thing in the world. <sighs> no, and Chloe is a name, not a number, you know? <laughs> oh, I'm in so much pain. I'm in so much pain. <laughs> the group where halogens are on the periodic table? Stop making up words like halogens, p 
periodic <laughs> table. <laughs> oh my gosh, beautiful. <laughs> okay then, I give up. <laughs> yeah, I go out of the pool just for that uh, lovely smell. Yeah, chemistry isn't real. Science is fake. You don't have to learn it. It's not even real. Science, completely fake. 17 is us. 17 is us. I like had a really easy time in chemistry because my parents know a lot of chemistry. And so I, my parents like taught me random chemistry growing up. And so my chemistry classes in school were like always very easy for me. <laughs> it was just like, Dad, what's this? And it's like, Dad's like, yep, that's this. And it's like, oh, okay, I understand. To write Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad teaches us chemistry. Very important. The 17 is us. Yeah. Every human has 17 pairs of chromosomes. <laughs> I don't think that's true. I don't think that's the correct number of chromosomes. I think that's false. That number is the whole foundation of you and me. It's 23. Uh, what is? Humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes, not 17. Uh, well, they're both primal numbers, so it's the same idea. <laughs> they're primal numbers. Okay, I love this guy now. This guy's great. <laughs> primal numbers. Stop making up words like table <laughs> oh this guy's real good <laughs> when i was little one of our dinner discussions was about radar returns of different objects like power lines and cars yeah when your parents are nerds you kind of end up nerd too it's just like it's just destiny I, this guy has a lot more than I did when I first met him. I mean, some things make me cringe, but then, like, it's 17. 7 plus teen is, like, really good. <laughs> and, like, primal numbers is, like, that's glorious. Like, this dude, this dude is, like, almost, like, he doesn't know that he's trolling. Like, this guy is unaware that he's trolling, but he's trolling very well. I appreciate that. <laughs> <I'm all laughs> Do you want anything else? <clears throat> I'd like a single plum floating in perfume served in a man's hat. Well, we don't got any men here today. This is a women bar today. Women only bar today. So I guess you gotta leave, bro. I guess you gotta go. <laughs> okay. He wants a plum? Floating in perfume in a man's hat. Okay. A plum floating in perfume in a man's hat. What the fuck? Okay, none of these things seem like hats or perfume or plums, you know? I said, okay, that's champagne. That's not right. Um... Okay. I mean, we could just give him a gut punch. We could just give him a gut punch. I feel like he deserves that. I know where that comes from. No, I don't. Wait, I don't know where this comes from. What is it? I am... I am uninitiated. I am the unlearned. Alright. Smells like chocolate milk. Okay, okay. Scott Adams. Oh, a clip about engineers. I'm gonna open the tab. Okay, but yeah, where does this come from? Is this supposed to be like a reference to something? Oh, it's a Simpsons joke about Yoko Ono. I never watched The Simpsons growing up. My family didn't like a lot of funny things growing up. <laughs> so we didn't watch The Simpsons. But I knew it existed. But yeah, that's pretty good. Alright. I think we just make
make him a gut punch? Because it's clearly... Yeah, no laughing. Give him a beer? All right, we'll give him a beer. You want to be a fancy man? How about the least fancy thing I can come up with? Beer. Easy, this is as good as anything. Here. Hold on, what? Oh, I didn't expect you to be able to deliver it, you know. What? What? <laughs> what? I asked you for an impossible order to prove the feebleness of the human condition. No matter what you do, you never have all the answers and resources you need. You can make as many drinks as you want, but you'll never be able to deliver that ridiculous order. Yeah, I know. You're not proving a point when you do that. You're just saying random shit. You still have to pay for this, you know? Hey, bartender, have you ever thought about death? I mean, yeah. Yeah? How? What if we're already... <laughs> I'm dying. I'm dying actively right now, and you're doing it to me. I think I might already be dead. If I'm not already dead, I will be soon, and it will be your fault, Virgilio. <laughs> what? What tells you I even existed before I entered that door? How can you assure me that this reality is real and we're not in fact in heaven or hell all along? I, I, you know, like I knew this guy. Like in middle school, I knew this guy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what if everything up to this point is just some stupid story written by an unemployed 20 something year old in his room? I think, uh, I think this is the writer adding himself right now. <laughs> Like, wow, what if you're just a just a fucking 20 year old writing in his bedroom? Wouldn't that be cringe? Can you imagine being in your 20s? Real cringe, huh, to be in your 20s. <laughs> you know, some people do say this bar is in fact a hellhole, and it's also Valhalla, so this bar is truly the afterlife in many different ways. And it's about to become your grave, sir. <laughs> All right. I could punch you to make you feel reality. I don't care about any of that, actually. Did he- he likes the beer? He thought the beer was, like, good enough? Wild. This reality is real for me, and that's all that matters. Such a close-minded way of seeing things. <laughs> you need to get away from the factual facts. That was pretty good too, okay. I'll give him that one. <laughs> Open your mind to things beyond your reach. You'll never reach enlightenment if you don't start. The habanera has started. It means Twilight of the Gods in German, by the way. <laughs> well, you're on your own, bartender. Enjoy your new world order. Oh my god, what was that even about? What was he even here for? He was just like, I'm just gonna walk in and say some of the dumbest shit you've ever heard in your life, and then I'm gonna leave. And that's gonna be it. Did he pay? Did he pay us before he left? <laughs> I kinda love him, you know? You just walk in, say some dumbass shit, don't explain anything, and just leave, you know? <laughs> He's having an anime moment. Make me tilted. <laughs> I'm the anime moment that he's having. <laughs> Rip. A couple nearby cars exploded, it seems. Oh, hell. Let me take a look out the window. Be careful. I see lots of flashes in the distance, most likely gunshots. Jill, come here a sec. What? Newscaster, about five gigabytes of reports proving that several white knight squads have been used to cover. Illegal actions were released to the public by an unknown anarchist group. It's it's Alice Rabbit. You're an NPC in his story. Just got her car washed. Well, it's gone now. You don't have to ever wash your car anymore. It's gone. It's, it's over. It's too late. You never have to do that anymore. But Alice Rabbit released news. 
software receiving reports of several units going rogue and using their weapons to hunt down anyone they find on the street. Several counterterrorism forces from the neighboring cities have been dispatched in order to subdue the crazed units after a plea from the vice president. Oh, thank you for the subscription, Linguini. Thank you, thank you. I hope you enjoy the emotes. Thank you, thank you. You're back. I hope you had a successful whatever you had to leave today. I hope it went well. <laughs> but we're getting news about something. There was a... There's... There's... Terrorism. There's been terrorism recently. There's a... Um, Okay, I'm gonna open the log. <laughs> yes, I forgot what I just read. All right. Five gigabytes of reports proving that several White Knight squads have been used to cover illegal actions were released to the public by an unknown anarchist group. We're receiving reports of several units going rogue and using their weapons to hunt down anyone they find on the street. Oop. Several counterterrorism forces from neighboring cities have been dispatched in order to subdue the crazed units after a plea from the vice president. So uh, that's what's going on. Things were leaked and now there's terrorism. Yikes, we're not even home with our cat. Our poor cat, is it okay? <laughs> An NPC in someone else's story it reminds you of a game called NPC Quest, a role-playing game where you don't control the character. That's really cute. That's I haven't heard of that game before, but that's really cute sounding. All right, we're still waiting for a declaration from Saibatsu Corp's CEO on the subject, but until then, Things are ugly in and outside of that bank, it seems. I recommend you stay here tonight. It's too dangerous to even think about going outside. Yes, please. What if they break in? They won't. Even then, the bar has quite the security system. I feel like the bar's security system is like, Dana is here. Like, the bar's security system is like, we've got Dana, and Dana will fuck your shit up if you cause problems. I know our poor cat, but we can go back home to our poor cat tomorrow and she'll be okay. And I'll be here protecting you as an added bonus. Oh, that's kind of cute. Like, boss protecting us? Dana with a baseball bat comes in here. <laughs> Dana with the metal chair. Yeah, boss cares about us and she wants us to be okay. Yeah, I guess I'll stay the night. She really is boss of the year, boss of the century, boss of our lives. She's so cute and wonderful. I'll get you the spare mattress I have. Do you mind sleeping in my office? No, not at all. Sleep with boss, man. <laughs> no, I guess it's fine. Let's hope everything gets solved by the morning. I'll have Zankanto on hand. It's got her Zanpakuto. It's Bleach. It's time for Bleach. She's got her Zanpakuto on hand. Just in case. All right, what is Zankanto? The metal bat with nails. Oh, fuck yeah. It basically is her Zanpakuto. It's just a metal bat with nails. I'm surprised there's not, like, a sword in Bleach yet that's a metal bat with nails, you know? There's, like... There's one that's like a rocket launcher, you know? <laughs> like, you could have a metal bat with nails. <clears throat> There's nothing it can't bash. <laughs> Say, Gil, four. Four's the cat, by the way. I hope everything's better by tomorrow. Well, we, um, we did not get the flawless service bonus because I don't fucking know what that dude wanted when he asked for his attitude. Sleep tight, I'll protect you. <gasps> Boss, I love her so much. She's so cute. All right, click to continue. Oh, hello. <laughs> do we get to, do we get to look at our phone? I think we don't get, you won't even get to look at our phone. It is now safe to keep playing. Yeah, it's just, it's just moving on to the other day, I guess. We don't get to read the news, yeah? It turns out we don't actually get to read the news today. So, that's pretty, so okay, so I've been, I've been ending the streams after playing one entire day, and then reading, like, the news on our phone. And so there's, like, a chance to wrap up, because it's, like, the news on the phone that we're reading. 
but apparently we don't take our phone to work with us. And so we don't have our phone and we can't, we don't get to read the news. We don't get to read Kiramiki's blog. We don't get to read dangerous opinions on the internet. We don't get to read, we don't get to read Donovan's newspaper. What if Donovan comes in tomorrow and he's like, did you read my articles from yesterday? And we're going to be like, no, I don't have my phone with me. And we don't even get to see our cat. But, um, <laughs> we don't get to read Cyberpunk 4chan. We don't. They're probably saying some, like, wild things about what's going on, you know? Like, they probably have something to say about the whole Alice Rabbit thing. Oh, also, we keep seeing, like, the weird hacked articles on our phone of, like, the, the actual information about Alice Rabbit. We keep seeing that. So we don't have any of that today. But, um... So it, like, feels like a weird and abrupt ending. But also... My throat hurts. My throat is... This game's a lot of talking. This game's a lot of talking. And there's only places to save, like, once an hour. Um, I don't really have anything to say either. I've told you all of the stories that are in my brain. My brain is empty now at this point. Um, we'll be playing Elden Ring on Saturday again. A visual novel with lots of talking. I guess lots of talking in my visual novel. It's more likely than you think. I love that meme. That's always like the voice I imagine for that lady, you know? Like cockroaches in my vagina, it's more likely than you think. But yeah, um, I'm excited for Elden Ring next time because um, we've got, <laughs> that's the meme, right? That's the meme, right? <laughs> I don't think I made that up. I think that's the meme. I think it's just an old one. <laughs> I think it's just an old meme. <laughs> It's the, the, it's the lady. She's like on a billboard or something and she just says, cockroaches in my vagina, it's more likely than you think. You've never heard of that? I hope I didn't completely invent this. I hope this is a real thing. Oh no, I'm trying to Google this. I'm trying to Google this and it's not coming up with anything. Did I? Did I just, did I just completely invent this? Oh no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. It's more like centipedes. It's centipedes in my vagina. It's more likely than you think. So I was just wrong about it. It was, it was centipedes and not cockroaches. It was, sorry, it was revealed to me in a dream. Truly, but okay. It's a, there's a, there was a like meme that was like pornography on my computer it's more likely than you think and then people changed it in photoshop to say centipedes in my vagina it's more likely than you think and this is a real thing i didn't make this up there's a there's a know your meme page about it so it's real <laughs> i didn't <laughs> i'm glad i didn't like completely invent this I don't know that anyone remembers this meme. I don't know that anyone else remembers this at all, but I swear it's real. <laughs> uh, anyway. Oh my gosh, it's posted in meme graveyard. It's posted in the meme graveyard subreddit. Oh no. It was posted in the meme graveyard subreddit eight years ago. This meme has been dead for eight years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> on that note, on 10 memes from eight years ago, um, to the Elden Ring on Saturday? It's more likely than you think. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's raid someone. Raid someone. We're gonna raid Lathy. We're gonna raid Lathy. Everyone, go to Lathy's debut on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> all right thanks a lot for coming it's been a lot of fun i've had a really good time and the game is really beautiful <laughs> and you guys are really cool and i always have a lot of fun hanging out and chatting with you all so see you guys next time bye bye